We on that real New York time, yo. Hit that like button. I got Let's Scott go. Umbrella with me. You know the vibe, nigga. Hit that like button, baby. All right, you trendsetters. I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game You told on your homies, love ain't the same I see my mama struggle, had to make a way I told her mama, move over, I'ma pave the way I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game You told on your homies, love ain't the same I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way I told her mommy, move over, I'ma pave the way Should be swimming with the fishes Yellow dollars should be looking like I'm pissing Still bang on a nigga, Blake Griffin Fuck a shot, let we get a nigga lifted. Uh, all this money in the wall like Yowder. If you the MMT, you know a nigga got his crowd up. We gon' get it, have a count it. Let's take note, we got 51 likes and 46 people in the building. Huh? You caught again, YouTube. Yeah, I'm on the white, like Tommy Wick, ghosts that got the power. I've been at niggas since 9-6. Only run with trappers, killers, and convicts. See my man kill with a smile, been calm six. Shots at the V, we making the car flip. Uh, we lost Grizzly, and we ain't trying to lose again. Head tap him, if he move, nigga shoot again. War time, we got no picks, nigga shoot his friend. Ain't no doubling back, we can't get cool again. I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, had to make a way. I told her mama, move over, I'ma pave the way. I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way. I told her mommy, move over, I'ma pave the way. time, but I see clear. Gotta thank the men above, cause I know without him, I wouldn't be here, but... Let's just be clear, I really set the bar high and kept my wheels going through the storm like a car shot. They ain't with you till you pull up in that hard top and make it disappear from a button, watch they heart drop. My bars hot, but my delivery immaculate. Being with a scope, so when it fire is accurate. Ice got my neck on froze, look like I fractured it. It's the type of shit you gon' have to go save your taxes with. Real niggas still around, let's get back to it. Separate these Instagram niggas from who was actually lit. Before rap, I was trafficking OT. Getting paddles breaking down the fractions of OZs right. I had to wait my turn and watch the game from the nosebleeds I'm from the Bronx where niggas go to war with their cold D huh. So I'm sorry if I don't trust you what? Before I take from a man I'd rather hustle what? I executed my plan and got destructive with it Real nigga Hall of Fame I better get inducted in it I can't respect you You don't check on your kids Running around with some niggas Got you ready to bid You don't get respect unless I see respect what you give But wait for this sig A separated snake in his wig I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game You told on your homies, love ain't the same I see my mama struggle, had to make a way I told her mama, move over, I'ma pave the way I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game You told on your homies, love ain't the same I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way I told her mommy, move over, I'ma pave the way Weight pit, deadlift, hammers at my door Time for a sick trip Nobody shots, leaving his head split Shotty up close, blast your legs flip Brillo, R.I.U. My gun kick like it no kung fu Get home till you turn blue When you in that cell going through hell, it's only you Niggas leave, money go, bitches too Red laser on your shirt, no missing you Automatics, binary, switches too Chanel or Celine, shotgun Red, yellow shells in the machine Gotta cut them out his jeans Back to the basics, sweatpants and Asics Staying through this Hollison window, it's all patience Rap niggas be wired up, y'all all agents Find your body or something boarded up, faking I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game You told on your homies, love ain't the same I see my mama struggle, had to make a way. I told her mama, move over, I'ma pave the way. I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game. What? You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way. I told her mommy, move over, I'ma pave the way. What up, y'all? <laughs> How it's going to turn up tonight? So y'all might as well catch up to that 1,300 people that they acting like is in the building. I'm telling y'all, I don't care what y'all say, I know we got at least at least 10,000 people in the building right now. So I'm daring y'all to hit that like button. 
So we can get all the way up to 13 and watch when y'all get to 1,300 people, how the numbers jump up. Because when we started the live, they got caught. In the beginning, they got caught. We had more likes than people in the building. We got to stop with the BS, man. If y'all want to keep me afloat, y'all got to play the game, man. It's us against this algorithm. They trying to contain Hassan Campbell. I am a virus. I am a deadly plague. Or rather, I am the antivirus to all the bullshit that they spray in us with. I am the antivirus to all the bullshit that they spray in us with. So y'all got to hit that like button so we can see the difference in these numbers. It ain't going to cost y'all nothing. I'm going to give y'all a fire live tonight. And we're going to separate the real from the phony. Shall we begin? Can we get this started by getting these likes up? Huh? So I can act up? Is this the illest nigga in Nebraska? Yes, I am. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. And we ain't going out like Nino Brown in the Carter. Now, we ain't going out like that. As a matter of fact, we ain't going out like Doggy Diamonds and Gully TV. We ain't going out like that. Y'all see them niggas' views over there. Don't let them do me like that. Don't have you two put me in the senior citizen home. Don't, don't do a nigga like that. Come on, man. The game is rigged. They give you 15 minutes of fame. I still got an hour and a half left. Play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me around here. You know, I, I've been sitting back and I've been watching and analyzing this internet and how dangerous this internet is. And it's scary. The stuff that's going on on this internet is getting scary. Right? Let me break something down to y'all. Like I said, or I tried to say in the video leading up to this live to let y'all know I was going live. Again, take off, no matter how much he rapped to try to talk that, he was a civilian, he was a rapper, he was an entertainer. So a lot of us felt compelled to go at Jay Prince and his family. I understand anybody who crossed those lines to stand up and fight for the wrongful death of take off. Yo, I'm with anybody who make videos on that. I agree and I stand with that 110%. But y'all gotta know the difference between gangsters and wanksters. Y'all gotta know the difference between them street niggas and them sidewalk niggas. When it come to them street niggas, young Dolph, when it come to Yo Gotti, y'all gotta mind y'all business. Y'all gotta mind y'all business. Now, everybody... That's in attendance right now. As we move towards the 10 minute mark, we had eight minutes and 20 seconds in this courtroom right here. I want everybody that's watching me to raise your right hand. And y'all put it on this Bible that y'all worship. The other man, you put the left hand, you raise your hand, right? Huh? Do y'all solemnly swear to tell the truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Court is in session. Shall we begin? Six nine has a strong cold cold fire. He stole your slogan. He's saying you got your snot box rock. Shout out to my favorite snitch in the whole wide world. Six nine. Now, court is in session. Associates with you. With the murder of Yo Gotti's brother, Big Jip, there have been a lot of lies going around and a lot of rumors going around. In this video here, I'm just going to clear the air and tell the truth about what happened to Yo Gotti's brother, Big Jip. 
Now, before we do that, you solemnly swear to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? Y'all heard him say he gonna tell the truth. To share this and to make sure everybody not running with false information. Now, he wanna make sure, he wants to make sure that nobody's running around with false information. Now, let me break something down to y'all real quick. As I let him testify in the court of law. Nobody wants the truth to come out in a murder case. When you got street niggas beefing with each other. We don't want the truth to come out. We want the murder case to be unsolved. So more bodies can drop when we beefing with each other. When a gangster is beefing with a gangster, we don't want the case solved. We are in the streets for a reason. There's a reason why you niggas is on the sidewalk. But I have a, I have a problem with dudes. That's acting like they street and trying to save and trying to serve. You trying to solve murder cases with niggas that don't want the case solved. Niggas want to handle their business in the street and you niggas is crossing over into shit that y'all ain't supposed to be stepping in. You niggas is stepping in shit that y'all ain't supposed to be stepping in. They made the sidewalks for you niggas, not the streets. Just need y'all to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and share this video. So everybody hit the like button right now. Subscribe and share. Now first we're gonna dispel a lot of the rumors that's going on with Big Jug. One, we've all heard that Big Jug owed a gambling debt. You know, and if he did owe a gambling debt and he didn't pay dues back. That's not what happened in this case. We also heard that Big Jook ran off on hit money that was supposed to be for Young Dolph, and they came back to get it back. That's also not true. Who told him that? Who told him that? Did Yo Gotti tell him that? Like, who told y'all that? I never heard these rumors. How you niggas that sit on couches in your house behind the desk on YouTube, heard all this shit. How y'all in the middle of shit that don't have nothing to do with y'all? Let you keep talking. And that ain't got nothing to do with the situation. We've also heard that Yo got his aunt or a family a uh, family member snitched on Bowman who the funeral was. That also had nothing to do with Big Jug. Get How you know who Bowman was? Or is? Are you from the same neighborhood as Bovin? Are you from the same community? Are you down with the same crew? How do you know these names? I'm just asking for the court. Sorry, Your Honor. I'm, I know I'm going too far. I'm going too fast, Your Honor. Uh, my apologies, Your Honor. Let me let the witness speak. We've heard everything from it was a sacrifice and everything. Listen, this is why Big Jug got killed. If Young Dolph was still alive, Big Jook would still be alive. Now, I'm not attacking no you. Let's let's set the record straight for the court right here, Yana. According to this witness, King AK-47, if Young Dolph if Young Dolph was still alive, Big Jook would still be alive. Let's put that in as Exhibit A. Let's set that for the record. And this witness right here, because we already know in, in federal court, a hearsay witness is still a witness. So we have witness AK-47 solemnly swearing that Jook would still be alive if Dolph was alive. Let's go. At the end of the day, the people I'm coming at is the people who claim they're from Memphis and they got inside information and they're giving all these false information to the bloggers because... They're the ones that somebody said in the comment section, justice for Dolph. Dolph didn't want justice. Dolph wanted revenge. Dolph don't want justice. He wants street justice, not court justice. He didn't ask anybody to be a witness. He didn't ask anybody to testify. I'm sorry, Your Honor, for raising my voice in the courtroom. I'm just getting a little bit hyped because you got people crossing over lines. That's none of their business, Your Honor. I'm sorry, Your Honor. The rumor mill and the lies. You feel what I'm saying? 
So I'm not attacking no blogger right now. But if you from Memphis and a lot of y'all try to come in my DMs with the same BS. Hold up. King AK-47. Are you a street nigga or are you a blogger? Because right now you're solving a homicide case. Not only are you solving a homicide case, but you stopping your Gotti from being able to get revenge because you talking too much. Oh, my bad. I'm jumping out the window. I'm still not letting this nigga talk. He's two minutes in and he's already saying too much. I'll be giving other bloggers. Just stop doing that. It serves you no purpose to do that. We're really happy to big Jug. It's just plain and simple. And it ain't no sugar coat. This will happen to big Jug. He came in the town. You solemnly swear that this is what happened to Big Juk? AK-47, do you solemnly swear? Yes, I solemnly swear this is what happened to Big Juk. Let him speak. Big Juk doesn't live in Memphis. He only came in town because of the funeral of Bowden. Now everybody know that was a big time drug dealer. He was married to Yo Gotti's auntie, and big Juk. Hold up, wait, 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 you're going too fast, AK-47. So you're saying that he was a big time drug dealer. You solemnly swear. All right, let's put that into evidence. And who was he dating? Auntie and it made them family. You feel what I'm saying? They looked up to this dude and everything. So when he died, they both came and paid their respects. Big Juk did not know that he was no longer gonna live a day past the funeral day. Why? Because the plan to murder him started with that funeral. One, they knew he was gonna be there. Two, the location was dropped. Through flyers and, and, and obituaries where the repast is gonna be, where the funeral is gonna be and all that. It's not a lot of these lives that's going on, it's nothing. Sometimes the truth can be just so simple. Everything not a murder mystery. Juk can't. Thank you for bringing the courts the truth. Without you, King AK-47, this internet wouldn't know what to do. Thank you. Let's put that into um, Exhibit B right there, too. And y'all hit the like button. Because ain't nobody going to turn this internet. I swear to God, ain't nobody going to rock this internet the way I'm going to rock this internet tonight. Hit the damn like button. Stop being stingy. Y'all be eating all enough now. Stop being greedy. Y'all been eating long enough now. Give me some likes. Stop being greedy. Ribs is touching, so don't make me wait. I'm sorry, y'all, that we still in the court. Tom, a couple days ago, there was a car show in North Memphis. If you from Memphis and you really know that you know what I'm saying, is the absolute truth. Big Jip went to that car show. They could have killed him then because they had his drop at the car show. In fact, remember when I told y'all the other day that Big Juke was shot at? Hold up, hold up, hold up. So they could have killed him then. How do you know this, King AK-47? Did they get, did you receive a phone call? They could have got him then? All right, let, I'm, I'm sorry, let me let you talk some more. So he was also shot at after that car show. Now... After Big Juk gets shot at at the car show, he's still running around. Only one D, the same man that got killed with Big Juk, is the same man that went to the car show. So Big Juk been riding around Memphis when he got back in town with one man. Not 10, not 50, not 20, not like how Yo Gotti came with police presence and 20 security guards. No, Big Juk rode around with one. And that played a part of Big Juk's demise. It is said that Big Juke was basically getting taunted and told, we're going to kill you, to his phone. Now, a lot of people hear that and say, Who told him that Big Juke was getting death threats to his phone? How did this man know every single intricate detail of Big Juke and Yo Gotti when he don't know neither one of them? Oh, they going to jail, they going to jail. It ain't that easy because the word is they didn't use a number that's in nobody's name. They used a bogus email off a phone they don't use. So the GPS and all that don't matter. The IP address don't matter. And use one of them text apps to text your phone. That explains the post. 
Y'all can get mad at me all you want to. I done had Big Jook's wife, baby mother, whatever you want to call her, come on my platform, nobody else's, and cuss me out and get to talking and she tried to extort me all the She came on your platform and cussed you out because she wants you to mind your goddamn business. You, in, you, you inserted yourself so much into street shit that the baby mother or the wife reached out to you and cussed you out because you really pissing them off because you was talking too much. If you know that, you were day one, just let the people know in the comment section that might not know. That really happened, Big Jook's wife. You feel what I'm saying? Also, other family members came at me. And I formed a little bond off of that. So I'm not just sitting here speaking off rumors and hearing. You ain't form a little bond. They want to rock your snot box, nigga. They hate you. Do you realize what you doing, King AK-47? You were giving details to the DEA, to the FBI, to the CIA. Nigga, you talk too much. You ever heard that song? You talk too much. You never shut up. Homeboy, you talk too much. Homeboy, you never shut up. Who? Huh. You talk about places you don't even go. You talk about people. You y'all get the drift. Hey, if I want to, I could try to get, you know, what I need to get to tell y'all without having nobody go to jail and without having He could get. This nigga Jay Reed, he's deep cover. He can get? How could you get somewhere where you're not even from? How could you get information from people you don't even know? This nigga dangerous. Y'all better understand when you're dealing with internet plants, man. Y'all better understand when y'all dealing with internet plants, man. This nigga dangerous. No, none of that. Big Jook ignored all the signs. And he still went to the funeral anyway, even after he was told, don't go to that funeral. So Big Jook was thinking, how do these niggas get my number? Which leads to that post. Big Jook was thinking, I'm riding around by myself the same way Hassan Campbell ride around because we ain't scared of nothing. And whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. Big Jook wasn't riding around with a thousand niggas with him because Big Jook wasn't scared. Because Big Jook understood when it's his time to go, it's his time to go. And that's it. When it's your time to go, everybody has been sentenced to death. Death smells at his all. The only thing you can do is smell back at death. You can't escape death. And Big Jook knew that. He wasn't scared. So now he in his grave and you trying to turn him into a coward like you? The afraid people, the scared people could never understand the fearless people. That's why I said my shooting was fake. Because y'all couldn't understand how a nigga was not scared. I want to meet you face to face. What he say? That's because he was getting text messages, man. They want to try to snake you out. So he seen the play and already knew because he was just shot at the night of the car show in North Memphis. If you from North Memphis and let everybody know about the car show that happened and, and what's the name of it. He goes to the funeral. Unbeknownst to him, there's three individuals sitting outside the funeral. They never went in the funeral. They never showed face in the funeral. They parked, you know, a ways back and they just sat back and watched. How the fuck he know that? Dude, are we listening? Your Honor, I'm sorry. Exhibit C. The witness AK-47 AK makes it clear that the alleged killers, they didn't go in. They just waited outside. Is this the truth, AK-47? AK Raise your hand. Do you solemnly swear that this is what happened in a court of a law? Yo Gotti, there was a rumor that Yo Gotti was the target. They didn't want Gotti. They didn't want Gotti. They knew they couldn't get Gotti. Because to all the people who keep saying they was there, 
in the funeral home, but why y'all, I mean, in the, in the, in the funeral, well, why y'all failed to mention to these brothers that it was heavy police presence and security there from your guy's bag? What? They didn't have to mention none of that because you the blogger that's going to mention it to everybody else because you refer it to all the rest of the YouTubers as bloggers. So if they bloggers, then that means you the street nigga on the stand telling. If everybody else is bloggers, that means that you the street nigga on the, you are on the stand right now. You are part of an FBI investigation and you giving all the answers that nobody knows. Nobody knows the troubles. I failed to mention that. Because I talked to people that was really there. You feel what I'm saying? They let go. So you talked to people that was really there? You spoke to witnesses that was really there? What agency do you work for? Officer AK-47. And when you spoke to these street niggas that was there... They didn't tell you to keep it on the down low. Nobody has to know. Keep it on the down low, down low. They didn't tell you that? They, they didn't? They didn't? Shh, shh, shh. Go, just take off. This early in the morning when, uh, what's the name happened? Just get killed way later. In a whole different location. So let's separate the fact that the funeral to the to the repast. Two different locations spread apart from each other, different time. It wasn't the real repast. There was a there was a repast for both, but at this restaurant, that was just pay respects to both moment. We're gonna pop up and show our face and you know have a good time at this restaurant. Well, Big Jump was being followed and he didn't know. Now, there was rumors that Yo Gotti mom was on the scene. And Yo Gotti mom was... So, at this part of the court session, this is where AK-47 clears up about Yo Gotti's mother. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, Your Honor, he does. See, look. He even looked like a rat, got his face ready. I won't... You ever heard that gospel song? I want to testify... My mother used to listen to gospel music and he was testifying to Jesus. I want to testify. That nigga looked like he built for it. The car with Big Jook and Buddy and Yo Gotti Mom was able to get off the car and they spared it. Listen here, let me tell you all something. These are the type of dudes that ain't sparing Yo Gotti Mama. And if they really wanted to kill her, they could have been killed her because we're. Jook got killed at the pre is right down the street. And that's why Jook be coming to Memphis a lot is to help the mom run a restaurant and make his little check-ins and then he back out. So it's not like Jook is just... So you saying that he comes in to help his mother run the restaurant and then he dips back out? How do you notice all these intricate details of somebody's business that you never met in a day in your life? Oh, so you want us to believe that everybody's just reaching out to you to give you all the street shit. Right. Slow nigga just crashing my party. Hurry up, man, if I put the camera on you. Show the move. Your little green. What's that? Incredible Hawk bottle? It's a Minecraft bottle? Alright. Alright, homie. Continue. Continue on, we will. Easy to find is this <coughs> when the funeral happens and we know you're going to be there, it made you easy to find. I don't but The nigga said, and we know you're going to be there, it made you easy to find. We? When you say we, AK-47, who are you referring to? The FBI, the CIA, the DEA, which one? Inquiring, inquiring minds want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Y'all hit the like button, man. Shout out to the 4,100 people in the building. The mom was there. 
I could be wrong, but from what I'm hearing, the mom was not there. She did not get shot at, and this is not the movies. Um, if these dudes wanted everybody in that car did, she would have died. And let's think about it. What did they, they do? Did they pull up and allow the lady to get out the car and walk away and then shoot? Or did they start shooting Pauls, let the lady walk out the car, and continue shooting? Don't sound right. Don't sound realistic. Ain't what I heard. So all the Yo Gotti mom things, I'm going to say right now, that's cat. I could be wrong. She could have been there. But from what I'm hearing, I, I, I just think that's BS, and that ain't never happened. And, of course, somebody in Memphis had to spew that. I mean, unless people just making up stuff off the top of their head, somebody from North uh, Memphis had to tell somebody that. And if y'all did that, shame on y'all bringing that woman into it who had nothing to do with nothing. That was just an ad filling for no reason. You just told the whole world, including me, myself, a nigga that don't know that woman from a hole in the wall, that she runs a restaurant in the town. You just broadcasted that for million people to know. But you talking about somebody else talking. Your Honor, I'm sorry. I'm Witness continue. I heard Big Jip was standing outside with the dude. They pulled up. He was coming out the restaurant. And they got the bucket. And Jip in the security. And they get it. Do you solemnly swear? You solemnly swear? You heard? He was with, tried to run back to the car. The security nigga was able to run back to the car. He got the dump. He got hit all up, though. And Jook was able to open the door, but he died right there. So the rumors that Jook was inside of the car and he, he fell out, he never got to make it back inside of the car. He tried. I don't know if the car was bulletproof, and that's why they was running to the car. I don't know if he just tried to get away, but Big Jip was caught lacking, and he got killed right there. And then we all know the killers drove off, and there's pictures of uh, the car, an all-white Ford Explorer, I believe. A lot of people say the police robbed them cars. A lot of people say those are rental cars, and these dudes, they had no license plates on their car. And... It all leads down of me telling y'all what I told y'all yesterday, and right after Big Juke died, about five, ten minutes, I got on Instagram live and told y'all, we all know what happened. We shouldn't make up lies and rumors for no reason, bro. If Dolph wasn't alive, if Dolph wasn't dead, Big Juke could be alive. And y'all call. Yana, I want to put that into evidence. See, again, the witness is stating that, and he solemnly swears. That if Dolph was alive, Big Juke wouldn't be dead. There's a line that you don't cross. There are people that I could understand. Takeoff, for example. His death all of us want justice and we will get into the fact that we don't hear nothing about takeoff all of us wants justice for takeoff because he wasn't a street dude i mean uh, uh, he wasn't a street dude and we know offset ain't a street dude and we know quavo ain't a street dude so we know that that innocent boy who was an artist who was in the care of jay prince we seen what happened I understand y'all dudes wanting to solve that because he wasn't a street dude. Young Dolph and Yo Gotti, they bout that life. Big Juk riding around allegedly in a bulletproof vehicle. He's bout that life. And sometimes when your ego gets in the way like Hassan Campbell, my brother Terrence called me from jail when I got after I got shot. And you know what he said to me? Because me and Terrence, a lot of these niggas from Bronx River, the old Bronx River, they hate to admit it, but me and Terrence put that whole shit on a curfew. It was really me, but it was me and Terrence. I was the muscle, Terrence was the get money nigga. So all these niggas that be telling y'all, show some pictures back in the days, I will. Of what me and Terrence was getting money. And had the whole block on smash. 
And y'all got to understand, so when nigga Terrence said he was like your highs, I couldn't even believe that a nigga had the balls to shoot you in Bronx River. Because there was a time where niggas were scared to death of me. Just like Big Joe. That nigga's a street nigga with muscle. But at the end of the day, life catches up to all of us. I don't want to lose the message. I want you to understand something. I'm going to say it again. When Haas got shot, I didn't make a statement. They got videotapes that they told me to come see so I could see where the shooters came from and all that. I still ain't even go to the precinct so they can give me what I need. Because there's something about the code. Even though I'm a family man now, I don't have to abide by that code. I know that certain things took place in my life to put me back in the street. So when shit hit the fan and niggas get the bussin', I don't want nobody coming to court testifying, giving me life in jail. And the niggas that shot me, I would never testify on them. I solemnly swear it. So you dudes on the internet, the shit that y'all doing, y'all violating the code of the, the code that young Dolph lived by. Y'all violating the code that Big Jump lived by. Y'all violating that. Y'all violating the code that Yo Gotti lived by. Yo Gotti is a gangster. At paper route business. We not saying no names. It don't got to be nobody that's in PRE. It don't got to be the members exactly. It could be family, friends, and them cousins, them fans, and them who knows. We're not here to put nobody in jail. We're not here to put nobody name hot. Even though it's a nigga named Blazing right now. If you in Memphis, you know that young nigga named Blazing in the mug. And I'm going to tell you something right now, bro. Everybody love to say, oh, Gotti, oh, Gotti. Don't. I didn't know nothing about this dude's name. So now, with, 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 with thousands of people watching me, and possibly hundreds of thousands of people watching me watch you, you just threw another street name out there to the FBI. A giant. Big Jip was like a father to him, even though that was his only brother. He taught him everything, and without Big Jip, there would be no guy career. Dog killed the love of his life. No homo, but Jip was. He was way richer than y'all, and he was way richer than Dolph. And we just got to put it like that. Dolph was street rich, but he never got as big as Gotti. And Gotti, if he wants to, Jay Fizzle, you trolling, he could put a bag on you. Kenny Money, you my favorite paper rock man. I love your music and all that. He could put a bag on you because in his mind, he might just want to Did you just throw out two more names? Yana, we put that into the exhibit of evidence of this hearsay witness that we have two more names that we want y'all to jot down so that we can take care of this in the court system. He solemnly swears to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help him, God. He swears. You swear? He swears to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the fucking truth. Yana, I'm sorry. I was sitting up here, Yana, and I, 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 I'm, 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 Yana, I had a little bit of Hennessy in me. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the outburst. Shout out to everybody sponsoring this war on the super chat. For some reason, they not so, they not showing me the super chat. I'm looking for the super chat so I can read the super chat, but they're not showing me. But I see it's coming in. It is what it is. Y'all make sure you hit that like button so we can get back to this court procedure. Oh my God. This shit is burning me. In this past police shit, he don't care. He done lived this life and all that. Because now, and we just going so, let's say they didn't have nothing to do. And we all know retaliation. All right, oh, y'all laughing? At me. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm not saying God is putting the bag on though, but don't wait to sleep the giant. Jump was set up from day one. You're not saying that God he's putting the bag up the bag on him, but Juke was set up from day one. Is that your statement? All right, let's go. When both men died, December 29th, I believe, or November one of them, that sign big Juke's life away. Oh my God! Look at his mouth. Well, who died?
when when who died? When who died? It signed whose life away? More evidence in a homicide case, in an FBI case, in the DEA case, in the CIA case. You solemnly swear? Yeah. Look at him. And that's what he gonna look like on the stand. They knew he was going to that funeral. It's that simple, y'all. They knew he was going to that funeral. And you don't need the back door, nigga, when you got the location of where the funeral is. Say word. And you catch the nigga at his most vulnerable moment. What? He just watched the nigga dead. For real? And a couple hours later, now nah, he did. He watched the nigga the casket. Cry, tears. Your mind ain't right. You can't survive the streets like that. Everybody know. Clear, level head. When you off drugs and you emotional, you tend to lose. You tend to go in the grave or you tend to get your ass locked and you regret. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. They supposed to like this shit that you talking out of your mouth? Because you referring to all the other YouTubers as bloggers. But you the street nigga and you the voice of the street because you took my title of being the voice of the street. And you ran with that title, and you calling everybody else bloggers, but you on the internet solving murder cases. Everybody in the comment section, write 5,000 people in the building so we can mark this at the 41-minute mark, because they're going to say that we had less than that. Shout out to the 5,000 people in the building. Make sure y'all hit the like button. And as soon as we said that, it dropped down to 4,600. These niggas is dirty. As soon as we said that, it dropped down to 4,600. But, Yana, I'm getting into my personal business, my beef with YouTube, and how they trying to suppress me. They're trying to kill me off like I'm a virus. But let's get back to this witness. He swears to tell the whole truth, nothing put the truth, so help him God. Everybody in the comment section, do y'all swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I was told the type of person Big Juke was. He was stuck in the 90s. Big Juke thought because since he was CMG and he was a millionaire, he was untouchable. But this is what Big Juke failed to realize. And this word on business, not AK. Everybody know he. He didn't think that he was untouchable. He was getting to the time and the point in his life where money didn't mean nothing to him no more. He had enough money to put an army around him. Sometimes you can have all the money in the world and life still feels like it's not worth living. Yo Gotti would have put the same army around his brother that he put around himself. Yo Gotti loved his brother. Him and his brother's rich. Stop trying to talk a coward into that man. He didn't care anymore. And it gets to a time and a point in every man's life. That's been through the struggle. That's been through the pain. Where you don't care no more. Where you don't fear death. But a coward would never understand that. Yana. Sorry Yana. I was talking to the peasants. I mean. I mean the sidewalk niggas that keep getting into the streets. And I keep. Yana please. Don't. Please. Please. I need this job right here. I need to be able to dictate. And I need to be able to get, set an example and show the difference. Yana, I solemnly swear, I try to control my outbursts. I said try, Yana. Something to do with dog murder. They thought cutting off Dolph was going to cut off the arms and the legs when you cut off the head. They didn't know that Dolph was making his niggas millionaires, thousand years. Think about it. Key Glock, the only artist that's really popping. All them niggas got motion. He left them with paper rubber. You ain't did nothing but fuel the fire, but you thought she was cutting the head off. So now, Big Juk and Gotti, if y'all pay attention, all they homies is older niggas. Uh-oh, this is about to get juicy. Come on, y'all. Get your popcorn. Get your popcorn. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. He talking. He talking that shit. Shh. Fuck up. 
Shut up. Who Dolph was around. Even the niggas that took Dolph life was once with Dolph, straight dropping them. Dolph had all the young niggas. And remember, I can't let that go by. Hold up. Even the young niggas that took Dolph life used to be with Dolph. Your Honor, let's put that in the let's let's mix that in the gumbo. Let's get that shit right. That's that shit right there, nigga. That shit right there. Oh, that's that shit. Dolph signing a certain somebody is the reason why them true the mafia niggas agreed and wanted to take the hit. Allegedly. The straight dropping them still facing the murder. So allegedly. They ain't cool like that with you. Hell, they were so sloppy, y'all see. That after Dolph died, they went to Florida taking pictures of Jeff. That's the only time you ever really seen them was right before Dolph died, during and right after. And you never see Jeff around him again. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? Is that the only time? The only, only time? Yes, Your Honor. Look at his face. I want to testify. See, none of them, none of them. A lot of people were saying, TZ. They said TZ was involved with your murder. He was back on and all that. Nah, man. If Dolph was still alive, TZ would still be alive, man. It's that simple. It's that simple? Do you solemnly swear? Is this the truth? The whole truth? And nothing but the truth? We don't gotta create fake narratives to drive these people. But anyway, let's get back to Big Jook. Big Jook and Gotti homies is older. Dolph put young niggas around and made sure young niggas eat. It's a two different thing. Now you be with these young niggas who just don't give a fuck. That's what Jook underestimated. That's why Jook. For the record, Yana, I'm speaking for Jook from the grave. Jook didn't give a fuck. Not a single fuck. He didn't care. He didn't move in fear. And see a coward. A coward? A coward can never understand how a real nigga move. They can, or they can never understand a nigga that went to a funeral. He went there in pain. He went there not caring. The same way when Hassan Campbell went the Bronx River, nigga, that's my hood. I know my hood better than anybody. I called the shooters out, wait for them to come, and got shot because that was a breaking point. Big Juke went to a funeral. Where somebody that he loved died. And he went by himself with one other person. Because he didn't care. He was in a state of depression. He was hurt. And a bitch ass nigga like that would never understand that. And I need for y'all to hit the like button. So our subscribers and views can go up. I'm dropping the realest shit on this internet to y'all. And y'all bullshitting. Hit the goddamn like button. The way your stepdad used to beat your goddamn mama. Hit the like button. The way your stepdad used to hit your mama back in the days. That pain. That pain. That's that shit. Some of these niggas don't even understand what we done been through. Y'all gotta hit that like button. The mom... Keep up the good work, Haas. The good needs you. This is the first. This is one of the first super chats. They're not showing me my super chats. Shout out to you, family. Thank you for sponsoring this war. Just lost his life. He thought that CMG the label, that the name. That his reputation 
the millionaires was was gonna keep him alive and be able to ride around the city of Memphis with one other person. And plus, like I told y'all earlier, they could have killed the nigga at the car show, but it was just too many people there and too many associates with you. They just waited because they knew that the funeral day was his death day. That Bobin's funeral day was. They could have killed him there. Who told him this? And whoever told him all of this? I don't know. Hey, series. Who told academics all these... Ep Never mind. Whoever told you all this? Street shit. With street niggas. You took it to the internet? That crossed too many lines. Yeah, we could kill you right now, uh, but it ain't as planned out as we wanted it because we planned since Bowman died that we know you coming and we gonna kill you and follow you after the funeral. Yeah, it's that simple, man. Sometimes you reap what you sow. Sometimes karma is real, man. And a lot of times the truth is so simple. And it don't got to be mixed with lies because the truth gonna always overshadow the lies. Big Jook killed himself. Big Jook went out just like how Dolph did. Dolph came back in the town just like Jook came back in the town. Because after you get to a certain point in a certain time in life, when you have everything that you want in life, and there's something still inside you that's hurting, you understand that the best thing for you is the afterlife. A coward wants to live forever. A coward wants to live forever. But you have people that lost people. And see, this is something that you don't understand, King AK-47. That there's people that lost people that want to reunite with those people on the other side. It's like when you watch Achilles and King Hector, the movie Troy, Shorty said to him, that guy that you gotta fight is big. I don't wanna fight him. And Achilles said to him, that's why your name will never be known. Since her song Campbell went on this internet, I've taken on everybody. Went viral for talking about everybody. Jay Prince, I was the first dude to ever disrespect Jay Prince on the internet. And when they seen the power of Hassan Campbell, they put agents on the internet to, du to duplicate that power and to silence me. Two of them that y'all act like y'all can't see. One, WAC 100. And the other one is um, the one-eyed nigga, Charleston White. That sold y'all that he was for the kids, but disrespected the kid's mama. He sold y'all that he was about Tuka, but sat up there and came to the internet and told y'all the whole world that he could have fucked Tuka's mother. And I'm going to ask y'all at the 54-minute mark, right? Can y'all please hit the like button? Because if you think that this AK-47 nigga and all of the followers that he had is not flagging me right now to keep my numbers suppressed. They're flagging me to keep us suppressed. Don't y'all want to see how many people really in the building? We have 4,500 people watching us right now with 1,800 likes. Get them shits up to 5,000. I guarantee you if everybody hit the like button in this building right now, it's going to show that we have at least 14,000 people. Make me out to be a liar. Make me out to be a liar. As a matter of fact, I want y'all to hit the like button. Then I want y'all to say in the comment section that I hit the that that y'all hit the like button. So after this live goes off, we can count how many people. Cause I'm gonna do it. Said y'all actually hit the live button. I want y'all to hit the like button. 
then I want you to comment in the comment section that you hit the like button. So after this live goes off, I'm going to count every single person. And y'all count every single person that said they hit the like button in the comment section. Let's go. And stop trying to drive. Listen, King AK-47 is already in the building. Stop trying to drive my, drown my comment section out. He earned this ass whooping. He has a big enough following. He's been all on my nutsack for a little while, making videos about me. And he's a worthy opponent. Shout out to King AK-47. You earned this ass whooping. Am I whooping his ass? Talk to me in the comment section. Is Hassan Campbell whipping his ass? Let me know. Yes or tell me no. In the comment section. Is Hassan Campbell whipping AK-47 ass? The numbers is going down because they mass flagging us. There's no way Haas. Haas had one super chat. I have made, I had way more than one super chat. You're bugging. But to now all my people that's watching me, that support me and sponsoring this war, talk back to these niggas in the super chat so we can talk to them. The comment section is going crazy, but yet the numbers is going down in the live because they mass flagging it. The comment section is going crazy. And all you see is AK, AK, AK in there. AK in there. So now I'm telling all my mods, time out. All the people that's typing in AK-47, time them out. Don't block them, time them out. Time them out. Time them out. And you see how the numbers jump back up to 4,400? Huh? Take the what? And leave the what? AK, you earth this, baby. You earth this, baby. You hit him in the. You earth this, baby. See, I, see, I like beefing. AK, yo, shout out to AK 47. The biggest rat on the internet. Besides 1090 Jake. Shout out to you. For working your way up to 200,000 subscribers. And not being like the little dirty ass, dusty ass nigga, zip with the drip. Let's get to that. We gonna get to that dirty ass nigga too. Let's get to that. We gonna get to that little dirty ass nigga too. Shout out to AK-47 for hitting a, a high mark and still getting dope numbers. And not falling off like Gully TV. Meet me at the crossroads. We won't be lonely. Nigga, you, Gully TV, nigga, you at the crossroads. I kill myself before I become you and Doggy Diamonds. Y'all niggas' career is over. <laughs> Take the what and leave the what? Hit the like button. We got 2,100 likes in this building. Let's get back to this real shit. Let's get back to the live. Stop playing with me. I'm not even finished. Remember, I got two dudes up there. I didn't even go on the whole internet. Dream, shout out to Dream. She's so sexy. Oh my God. If I didn't have a wife, you would be my wife. Oh shit. Take the what and leave the what? <laughs> that nigga beard look nasty, but anyway. Every time Dolph came back, he stopped at Makita's Cookies. It was an announcement that Dolph will be at Makita's Cookies <laughs> on this day of Bob, my mama, famous cookies. So they do put <laughs> Dolph coming back. We know where he going to be at. Big <laughs> Nigga said, we know where they going to be at. Don't you go talk. Don't you go talking around here. They catch slaves around here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hi, seventy percent of the people watching ain't even signed in. They can't even hit the like button. Don't you go over? Don't this listen? Around here, you can't tell on kin folk. Around here, they gonna chase us back to yonder. Coming <laughs> back, the funeral. We know Big Jug gonna show and pay respect to his uncle's funeral. 
where to say on that flyer where his uncle funeral gonna be at? Right here, whoop the whoop the whoop. All right, cool. And where the repass at? Right here, whoop the whoop the whoop. We got him. Got him. Right over here, whoop de whoop de whoop. Look at the whoop de whoop de whoop face. Look at the whoop de whoop de whoop face. We got him. Whoop de whoop de whoop. Same way. Gotti ain't see it coming. I mean, Jook ain't see it coming. Dolph ain't see it coming. Dolph got laid out. Jook got laid out. Dolph got shot up multiple times. Whole bunch of shots. Jook got shot up multiple times. A whole bunch of shots. You see how karma come into play. Almost to the T. The same way that Dolph died. It's the same way the real alleged mastermind, not Govin Hernandez, he's a flunky. He's the nigga that, that, that got, got the little nigga. Hold up. He's the nigga that got the little nigga. Yana. Because y'all know I, I don't know none of this. He's the nigga that got the little nigga. According to King AK-47, he solemnly swear to say what? The little nigga that got the little nigga? You solemnly swear? It had you. He's the flunky. He the man in the middle. Fuck man in the mirror. He's the man in the middle. The middle man. He. Uh oh. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. Ten toes down. Stop singing on your videos like me. It's irritating. I'm asking him to be man in the middle. And just let them in the supper sand and just let that man up, man up, make a change. Starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change. Stop singing. It was only two niggas on the internet singing. Me and Tommy Sotomayor. Tommy Sotomayor said I stole from him, but I didn't. My daddy do this shit. I got it from my daddy. I'm trying to get my daddy to get on the internet because I know I'm going to break the internet with my daddy. My, my dad? My father's an idiot. That nigga's an idiot. That nigga's an idiot. My dad? If I could get my dad to do a podcast with me, we would kill the internet. That nigga was Richard Pryor before Richard Pryor was Richard Pryor. My father was an idiot. Put that together. But as always, will somebody hire to go with Hernandez? Speaking of go with Hernandez, um, you lucky you ain't you on uh Police, whatever you want, because uh, word on the streets is if you ever get off that and you're able to walk around outside and travel freely, yes, yeah, it's grass. Uh, the same fate that happened to Big Jug is going to happen to you. Everybody that was involved in dog murder. Did he just predict the murder? Did this witness exhibit whatever we, I forgot what exhibit we are in this courtroom, but can we please? put it down in the exhibit and let the courtroom know that AK-47 just said that it's going to go down. His word is born. Either dead or in jail. Teasy in jail. All the Joe Joe splatter all on. They had been got locked up. Straight dropping them. Yo, you know it's crazy because Teasy, right? I know Teasy name because after Young Cheese got murdered. Wallow was making a video talking about who, who the people that was coming to his concert to perform. He said TZ. TZ. That's how I know TZ names. I didn't even know who TZ was. But this nigga know everybody. I ain't got time to know everybody. Look at his mouth. Never trust a nigga with a crooked smile. Locked up. Uh, a lot of people put Nooski in it. Dead. They said Nooski was the other shooter with with um um, um straight drop. Again, I want y'all to put right five thousand in the in the comment section because when I make my video, they're not going to show that we had five thousand people in the building. Everybody that's watching at this one hundred four point minute, fifty one hundred in the building. 
Write that in the building. We got 5128 in the building. CIA, yeah, I mean, like, we 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 gonna see. Like, go ahead. Y'all not gonna turn me into Doggy Diamonds and Gully TV. Not without a fight. Not without a fight. Y'all not gonna turn me into them niggas without a fight. Juk, dead, go bad, police custody, snitching, scared for his damn life. Cause a lot of people trying to put the bodies on go man. Her dad is go man. Her dad is not getting nobody killed, man. Go man. Her dad is not getting nobody killed, man. Go man. Her dad is better watch, <laughs> cause his ass will get killed, man. Fifty one twenty eight in the building. And that's a simple explanation of what happened to Big Two. It's called get back for Dolph. It's called. It's called Get Back for Dolph. Make sure y'all put that in the exhibit. Hit the like button. Come on. Why don't y'all hit the like button so we can get up to 10,000 people in the building? Do y'all not want to see that we got a whole arena? If y'all got to sign in, sign out and sign back in. If y'all got to sign out and make the numbers drop and come back in, do that. Show this, show, show this, show this, like show the people how strong we are. There's no me without y'all. Paper route business. Paper route empire. It's called, it was already something growing in Memphis before Dolph died. And when he did die, it solidified it. This section, the little niggas, this section, this section, this section. This, and they the ones that's running South Memphis. It ain't CMG. Gorilla don't be in the city like that. Big Boogie don't be in the city like that. None of them niggas. Black youngster gone, got it gone, just moved. They don't run Memphis. To the end of we went from 5,000 to 4,100. Just take note. Look like they were in Memphis. Guess who were in Memphis? <laughs> the little double R niggas. With the young... Um, and back to 4,600. But somebody's at my motherfucking door. And my phone's showing that. Alright, just making sure the killers ain't coming. We're making sure the killers ain't coming. Ain't nothing but these badass kids that don't want to listen to their daddy. You want to say hi? You want to say hi real quick? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Y'all know I, y'all, y'all know I got the queen. It's Wanda right here. Oh. Her son Campbell, mother back from the grave. Uh oh, Yo, she's back up? home. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? What's up, man? Yeah, what's up, man? Is you bounty bounty fool? Get up, the I will Move. rock your snap box. Move, these are my subscribers. Man, these are my subscribers. No, these are my subscribers. No, these are my subscribers. These are my subscribers. I'm going to hit her in the head with the headshot. I'm going to hit you in the head with that. I'm going to hit you in the head with that. Hold up, I got my block right here. You ain't got nothing. I just put the, put the, book of that. I want that. Who put that? I just bought it up. Bought it. What, what you going to do? What you going to do? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. She going to do something all right? Uh oh. Uh oh, yo, she took the jacket off? I'm gonna crack my knuckles and I will. Oh, she Thanks. gonna crack her knuckles? All right, I got something for that. I got something for that. Uh oh. I crack my neck. Uh oh, word. Y'all yeah, word. 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 All right. That's where my looks is going. You see, I'm getting all old and ugly. Nobody want the girls. The, the girls. The girls. They love me. <laughs> and get out of here. Let me get back to my video. Oh, shit. Ah. It's different around here, man. Is you party party fool? Y'all better close that front door. For the killers running here. We don't want the killers running in here while Hassan Campbell got the babies in here. Y'all could have caught me without the babies. Yeah. yeah. Catch me without the babies. I wanna play. I'm coming back outside. Y'all know I'm coming. Y'all know I'm coming back outside. Oh, I can't wait. Don't touch the babies. And I won't touch your aunts and mothers and all the rest of that. Nigga, I got phew, we. If the money right out, I got life insurance. Niggas touch me. You think your mother gonna live in in this building and that building and that building and aunts is gonna live in this building and that building and niggas ain't gonna come throw that bitch down a flight of steps? See her song them? Now you talking too much. Cause you said something without saying something. You ain't say no names. You just said just that, this, that, this, that, this apartment, that apartment. <laughs> Nigga, the hood ain't never going nowhere. <laughs> Hit the like button. Like, 
share, and subscribe. Now, if you hit the like button, share it somewhere so somebody else can watch this video and all on the radio. <laughs> it make it look like a dirty doodle tampon. <laughs> My bad. This is all jokes, all entertainment. King AK forty seven is that's my boy YouTube. He ain't got no pro he ain't got no problems with me sitting up there cracking jokes on him. Niggas with the pre niggas and with every other niggas they cop. And I said they did that, but that's just the truth. But with the going down in the landscape of Memphis, man. And they call Memphis Dark Land. And don't nobody fuck with CMG. Period. And if you think them all for the record, don't nobody fuck with CMG. It's gon' 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 go up against them younger niggas. No disrespect to my older niggas, and I'm damn near older. I'm 33. These young niggas is a different breed. They will take that bread and nail your ass to the cross with a billion shots, and pull up with no remorse, and pull the fuck off. And right after that, they get paid. Oh, don't that sound like the niggas they killed off? And all those niggas are gone. Notice we ain't haven't heard nothing about True to Mafia. Nothing. Them niggas. Look how his face turned to the side. We ain't heard nothing about who? True to Mafia. Yana. We want to put that in on um, whatever exhibit we in in this courtroom. True to Mafia. All right, cool. Are we clear? You're dead in jail or dissipated. And this is what happened. When you kill a nigga that never was supposed to die. I ain't never met a nigga that was... I've never met a nigga that wasn't supposed to die. Everybody has a time stamp. Not a leaf falls from a tree without a law's permission. Not a leaf falls from a tree without the permission of the Most High, Almighty God. Everything happens when it's supposed to. It's just for us to try to understand and try to figure out why did it happen? He died when he was supposed to. That's how I know I'm here for a real reason. Because he got hit like I got hit, but he ain't fucking breathing. Many men. Many, 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 many men. Wish death upon me. I can't die no more. Can't look to the sky no more. See, it's something about when you get your shit pushed in, it puts a hole that seeps in. Yeah. Many, 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 many men went in. They had to take it out my back, even if I had a vest on. Even if I had a vest on, they took the bullet out right here. They had to cut it out, pull a, bu pull it, pull a bullet out my back. So even if I had a vest on, it could have hit my lungs. It could have hit my heart. I'm still here for a real reason. Because he got hit like I got hit, but he ain't fucking breathing. Many men. Rest in peace to Big Junk. Rest in peace to Lil' Cheese, too. My prayers go out to both of them and their family. Big Junk is only dead. Because young Dolph is dead. Not no gambling debts. He ain't owe no hit money. Nobody snitched. And if so what you saying is, all the lies that could have been put in the street to keep the feds off the truth, you clearing the shit up. So what you saying is, all the lies that keeps a nigga from getting convicted, you overturning that shit in the courtroom so a nigga can't get... Y'all don't even understand what's going on. But I'll break it down. Couldn't be around the family because the bogus ain't taking what happened nicely because that shit happened 
at a celebration for their family member. They love Juk despite these lies. They love Juk. Juk wanna popped up to somewhere he ain't loved. Ain't no all he never was supposed to be around no bullshit. Juk was just moving very sloppy. And life repeats itself, man. But guess what? I'll be doing a live stream in about three hours. And we're going to go full in death. This was just a baby breakdown. Oh, why? Yo, got his brother, Big Jug. Got killed. In a shootout in Memphis, man. So you mean that this was the smallest testimony? You mean that this was the smallest testimony of you telling? You got more to say? Wow. Personally, I can't even see and can't even stomach why y'all niggas look at this nigga. I know New York niggas don't look at him. You know why? Because New York, New York, and I'm, I'm going to keep it funky. It's New York in the building. It's New York. Everybody from New York that's in the building, talk in the comment section right now. Put New York in the building the way you from. Everybody that's from New York in the building. And I'm going to tell y'all why. And I, I, it ain't no disrespect to nobody else. Because I've been around the world. New York, where you from? New York. New York. New York. I got a hundred guns, a hundred clips. Nigga, I'm from New York. From where? From New York where? From New York where? New York niggas? We some fly niggas. Hey, you, hey, yo, New York. New York. Yeah, I know I got the whole internet dressing like me. And I'm going to start exposing these niggas that dress like me. But New York, I ain't get a shape up. But my beard don't look like this. That shit look nasty. You can have your whole beard come in and look pretty. That shit look nasty. See, y'all got to clean this shit up. I'm going to show y'all what my beard looked like for. I ain't going to touch my beard for the next three months. But just to get a shape up of my mustache. I'm going to show you what my shit looked like. Not like this. Not like that. New York niggas is fly niggas. You can sit up there and take the diamonds off. You can take everything off. Take it off. And it's something about us that we got swag. It's a realness about us, that old school New York. That niggas is trying to get back. See, that old school New York is what started hip hop. Then it birthed niggas like this. That could get on the internet and say anything and everything out of their mouth. And niggas is cool with this shit. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. It's too many lies out here. The truth is so simple. All my real Memphis people. Y'all ain't need got a comment, AK, you the goat and all that because this is the same shit I was saying yesterday and, and right after. His Memphis people, he's not from Memphis. And early in the video, he made very, very clear that they was mad they wanted to kill him. But he, my Memphis people, nigga, Memphis don't like you. I understand even though people was in my DM telling me, yo, Haj, you got people in Philly that love you. Nigga, I don't want to go to Philly. That's the that's 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 the nomads land. When you done been places, and I've been around the world, when you go to the Bahamas and you go to different places, Hawaii, and you gotta fly and get on a plane to go to Puerto Rico, and you go places where people love you, why would you go somewhere where somebody hates you? New York is fly. If you from New York and you watch me right now, put your town, your city, your borough, your block in this comment section. Talk your shit. Sound you what up? Chirac, what up? 
Comment section going crazy. Chicago, what up? BX Hunt Point. Queens Village. Where you from? Harlem. Marble Hills. Yo, the comment section is going stupid. Sign ain't right about these views. The comment section is going stupid. <laughs> what you gonna do when them Hulkamaniacs run wild on you? What? What? This is old school back in the days. When, when we sat up there and we had to watch the Ultimate Warrior body slam Hulk Hogan. What are you going to do when the Hulkamaniac run wild on you? Let's get it. What? Take the what and leave the what? New York, y'all niggas better stand up. Or we going to be left with a nigga like this running the world. New York, y'all niggas better stand up. Look at this nigga. Yo, Hocus 4-5th, you gonna tell me this is the next nigga up? Yo, Swelly, Trouble, y'all niggas gonna tell me this is the next nigga up? Is this the illest nigga in Nebraska? Ew! New York, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? We don't straddle the fence. We come through the door like 50 Cent. Everybody could get it. We come through the door like 50. One thing I love about 50 Cent, anybody could get it. And that's how Hassan Campbell came through the door. I ain't come to be these niggas' friends. That got too much politics, too many, too many politics going on. See, the one thing, yo, the one thing that I love about 50 Cent is that young buck crying all over the internet. 50, I was wrong. 50 don't play when it comes to loyalty. So when young buck sat up there and said, Hey yo, fifty. I, I was I was cheap and weed. I was smoking the blunt with Jada Kiss. Even though fifty cool with them now, nigga, you was un, you was up under the leader, the captain of the ship, the nigga that changed your life. And you made a decision to be cool with niggas before he made that decision. So I understand fifty cent clearly. Where you from? South side. Bx Mun, bro. New York, where you at? Nigga, we started this shit. We love everybody else before, but before I acknowledge anybody else, I gotta acknowledge who the fuck started this shit. I got a hundred guns, a hundred clips. Nigga, I'm from New York. All these niggas sitting up there talking about they the king of New York, but don't even live in New York. These niggas telling you they the king of New York, but don't even live in New York. Garvey, best star. Sufton Boulevard. Queens get the money. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Come on, we got a, a South Alpo. Y'all ready? Keep the cookie when I'm out. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this nigga? Y'all ready for this nigga that used to be a pimp prostitute and black woman? Is you about it, about it? Hit the like button. Matter of fact, before, yo, we got to go into intermission. While we sitting up, I'm going to give y'all the time, man. Again. Again, y'all don't feel this? Let me give y'all a little bit of hip hop. Hit the like button. Yeah, that real New York time. Let's go. Let's go. I got Sam Billow with me. You know the vibe, nigga. Rough Friday. Rough Friday. All right, you trendsetters. I'ma move over, I'ma pave the way I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game You sold on your homies, love ain't the same I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way I told her mommy, move over, I'ma pave the way Shoot me 
swimming with the fishes. Yellow diamond shit be looking like I'm pissing. Still bang on a nigga Blake Griffin. Fuck a shot, let we get a nigga lifted. Uh, all this money in the wall like Yowda. If you the MMG, you know a nigga got his crowd up. We gon' get it, have a count it every hour. More to white like Tommy Wick goes, they got the power. I've been that nigga since 9-6. Only run with trappers, killers, and convicts. See my man kill with a smile, been calm six. Shots at the V, we making the car flip. Uh, we lost pussy, and we ain't trying to lose again. Head tap him, if he move, nigga, shoot again. Warm time, we got no picks, nigga, shoot his friend. Ain't no doubling back, we can't get cool again. I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, had to make a way. I told her mama, move over, I'ma pave the way. I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way. I told her mommy, move over, I'ma pave the way. Time, but I see clear. Gotta thank the men above, cause I know without him, I wouldn't be here. But Let's just be clear, I really set the bar high and kept my wheels going through the storm like a car shot. Yeah, they ain't with you till you pull up in that hard time right. and make it disappear from a button, watch they heart drop. My bars hot, but my delivery immaculate. Being with a scope, so when it fire is accurate. I spat my neck on froze, look like I fractured. It's the type of shit you gon' have to go save your taxes with. Real niggas still around, let's get back to it and separate these Instagram niggas from who was actually lit. Before rap, I was trapped to OT, getting pounds breaking down the fractions of old Z's. Right. I had to wait my turn to watch the game from the nosebleeds. I'm from the Bronx where niggas go to war with their cold D's. Right. So I'm sorry if I don't trust you, nigga. Before I take from a man, I'd rather hustle, nigga. I executed my plan and got destructive with it. Real nigga, Hall of Fame, I better get inducted in it. I can't respect you, don't check on your kids. Running around with some niggas, got you ready to bid. You don't get respect unless I see respect what you get. But whip for this sig, a simple with his neck and his wig. I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game You told on your homies, love ain't the same I see my mama struggle, had to make a way I told her mama, move over, I'ma pave the way I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game You told on your homies, love ain't the same I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way I told her mommy, move over, I'ma pave the way Weight pit, deadlift, cameras at my door, time for a sick trip. Nobody shots, leaving his head split. Shotty up close, blast your legs flip. Brillo, RIU, my gun kick like it no kung fu. Get home till you turn blue. When you in that cell going through hell, it's only you. Niggas leave, money go, bitches too. Red laser on your shirt, no missing you. Automatics, binary, switches too. Chanel or Celine, shotgun, red, yellow shells in the machine. Gotta cut them out his jeans. What? Back to the basics, sweatpants and Asics. Stand through this Hollison window, it's all patience. Rat niggas be wired up, y'all all agents. Find your body or something boarded up, fake it. I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the what? Game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. Yeah, we I told my mama struggle, had to make a way. I told her mama move over, I'ma pave the way. I'm running on my wrist, watch me change the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way. I told her mommy move over, I'ma pave the way. Ah, something about that energy, right? Something about that energy, right? about that swag, right? It's something 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 about that swag, right? Something about that swag, right? Something about that swag, right? Some shit you can't fake. Some shit you can't pretend. It's sometimes when you look at a nigga energy and you see a nigga energy, you be like, yo, nah, son. That shit ain't fake. That shit real. Some shit you can't fake. Pain, you can't fake. You can't fake that. You just gotta be who you is. Swag flows like a river. What Tupac say? Niggas don't know my style. 
I could be wrong, but I never got along with cops. Niggas don't know my staff. Y'all niggas getting along with the cops. Y'all looking like district district attorneys. Y'all raising your hands in the air before they even bring y'all in the courtroom. Y'all niggas is raising your hands in the air before they bring in y'all in the courtroom. That's none of y'all business. Let street niggas handle the street in the streets. Them niggas didn't testify. But King AK-47, you did. Y'all niggas is testifying on the internet when niggas is keeping shit in the street. Mind your fucking business. If y'all want to tell on something, go figure out what's going on with Takeoff and Offset and Quavo and that case with Jay Prince where them niggas is not street niggas. Go solve that case. Street niggas don't want you niggas talking their business. Because when it's time for house to get busy, I don't want y'all sitting up there saying, Your Honor, yeah, because you know Hassan Campbell, he had a beef with such and such that was in such and such apartment, in such and such apartment, in such and such apartment, and yeah, they stand in front of, right here on Chicken Half, on the corner, and they be in front of the barbershop, and this, like, nigga, y'all niggas is telling. I'm quiet. Shh. And disrespectful, because I still ain't changed my address, because I dare a nigga to pull up. Ain't nothing to move. When it's my time, and I'm just saying this for entertainment, I don't never plan on getting the revenge, Your Honor. But on the internet, I gotta act like I'm street. When it's time, for me to re return the favor, the streets already know what it is. Why y'all think all the niggas that I grew up with, all the old timers, nigga, don't nobody invite me to shit. Don't nobody invite me nowhere. Them niggas in Bronx River just went somewhere this weekend. Y'all don't see me in them pictures with my brothers. Shout out to Jerry and Timmy and all of them. Y'all don't see me in those pictures. Niggas know how serious it is. Because when beef get real, niggas is either going to get knee deep with you in that shit or they going to separate themselves. Nigga, you don't see me on vacation with them niggas or nobody. Because when beef get real, then you got to figure out who wants to invite you to when they having a good time. And all these niggas going out there and enjoying themselves. And shout out to my brothers. I ain't got no beef with them. They want to have a good time. Everybody knows what page I'm on. Don't nobody want to hang out with Haas right now. Because they know Haas ain't backing down. Ain't no backing down. Ain't no white flags. Ain't no peace talk. Nigga almost took me off this earth while I was crying. I could only return you the favor. Shall we begin? Shall we begin? Niggas is broke niggas playing with a nigga that got money. Between me and y'all that knows what's going on, I had a chance to catch a nigga at his mother's funeral. I had a chance to catch a nigga at his mother's funeral just because he putting myself in his business, acting like he the nigga that threw the bottle out the window. I had a nigga, I had a chance to catch a nigga at his mother's funeral. Nigga sitting right outside, this nigga doped up. Leave it. Let him go home. Shout out to you, big, big bro. I only let you slide because of your father. I only let you slide because of your father, little nigga. I only let you slide because your mother, because you ain't got no business putting yourself in my business because your grandmother was best friends with my mother because your grandfather that sit in that alley. Shh. Nigga, I let you go to your mother's funeral, but let's keep that between me and you. Oh, don't worry about a damn thing, baby. I let you go to that funeral. You getting a little too disrespectful, shorty. Playing. But once again, street niggas, I don't want niggas to solve the case. 
Because I, if I, if, yo, if I hit him in the head with the headshot, headshot, headshot. If I hit that nigga in the head with the headshot, and I ain't talking about the little bitch ass nigga that's putting himself in the beef, cause he mad, cause they beat him up. Matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do for y'all? I'm gonna do a little, I'm a little bit of dry snitching. I'm gonna put the video up on my Instagram, Poppy from BX River or Snapbox TV. I'm gonna put a video up, and I'm gonna show you what the Bronx River niggas did to this nigga, right? And see. I'm going I'm to I'm give y'all a little bit, uh, just a little bit of the history, being that we sitting up here and we on the internet, right? And show y'all the difference because this is situations I ain't do nothing about. When Little Jerry, my big brother, Big Jerry, Little Jerry, my nephew, when Little Jerry got shot, he was with Little Timmy in Bronx River. Little Timmy ran and left him on the floor when he got shot. That's what started the beef with some of the niggas with me in Bronx River. When Little Jerry got shot, right? So... When I went to Bronx River to handle my business, I didn't want to talk to none of them niggas. The little dirty niggas was too cocky. And at the time, Stratford niggas was shooting these niggas every day. So for them to shoot somebody in my family was just too disrespectful. But Big Jerry, being a grown man, he said to me, he said, yo, he said, we never went, he said, we never went to our fathers. Our mothers and fathers never had to come outside. He said, me being a grown man, a working man, this is how we have to handle the situation. And I respected my big brother because he taught me how to be a fucking man. Shout out to my big brother, Jerry. But little Jerry and little Timmy, whatever way they went, they befriended the niggas that shot them. And one day, little, little, little Timmy, little Timmy, because y'all see the video with big Timmy, Talking about beating me up. That was a comedy skit. That's my big brother. That's my, this, this Betty's son. But little Timmy, that little dirty, dusty ass, decrepit ass nigga. See, the reason why I'm talking about you and I'm going to drag you like this is because I decided that I'm not going to off your little dusty, dirty ass. You was a dope fiend. And you was playing with me on the internet. So now I'm going to spank you. I'm going to let you live because you, you like, niggas, niggas was at your mama's funeral, son. And I said, nah, let him live. Denora was in my DM. Poppy, please don't show up at the funeral. Nah, there's a respect thing. Sometimes you got to let little dirty niggas live. But the nigga that threw that bottle out the window? My prayers go out to you. The nigga that shot me? My, pr my prayers go out to you. I don't want no smoke. I don't want... Look, nigga, I don't want no smoke at all. None. Not none. I'm going to put these videos up. I'm going to show y'all. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it on my Patreon first. Patreon.com, Hassan Campbell. I'm going to put the video up for the next five days on my Patreon. Then y'all can get it off of Instagram. I'm going to show you who little dirty nigga is that's running his mouth. And y'all going to see how Don, Don from Bronx River, the way he whooped his ass, the way they beat him with bottles. See, they threw a bottle out the window because they knew they couldn't hit me. Nobody would never walk up to me and punch me dead in my face. They won't. They won't. Them niggas walked up to that nigga and beat that nigga with bottles all up in his head and threw him in a garbage can. They dragged him all over the floor. They mopped him with the floor. I'm sorry, this is getting a little too personal. Huh? Sometimes you got to show a weak nigga that he a weak nigga. You ain't got to always kill a nigga. I love Miss Betty a little too much. I love Mr. Thomas a little too much. Even your mother... Even your sister Geneva, you bitch ass nigga. I'll let the dope kill you. I'll let them Percocets kill you. I'll even stir up the beef for them niggas that beat you with them bottles so they start feeling some type of way. Even though I'm going to give you your props, you did stab Twin back. I'm going to dry snitch a little bit. You did stab Twin back. Twin, it's time for you to get your get back. Hit that nigga in the head with another bottle. YouTube, is just, this is just entertainment. I whoop your head, boy. Now let's get into the next rack. Hit that like button. I just gave y'all some real shit. Huh? Yo, what's up with the internet? I can't even see my own comment section. It's 
Say something in the comment section. I can't see my comment section. Something. What? Here we go. This nigga's an animated snitch. An animated snitch. Yo, golly, brother. Just got killed. I did miss him. He just got gunned down, coming from a funeral or something like that. I'm just having no way. Let me tell you what's going on. Yo, Dolph, little homies, they slide. Man, that shit slide. Yo, got it, big brother, man. Just got hit up. Now, y'all remember, Black Justin brother just got hit up a couple months ago. Then he lost his other brother out there, man. The people ain't playing, man. Young Dolph Sliders, they ain't let shit slide, man. Remember, Young Dolph got gunned down November 17th, 2021 at Makita Cookies out there in Memphis. Alleged Grapes? Is this the same nigga that was prostituting black women all over the internet and screaming, Grapes? Is this the illest nigga to put? Y'all don't even see how the, y'all don't even see the YouTube agents. Controlling black media, violating the code of the street. Y'all don't see it? Keep watching. Big Juke, Young Got It Brother, pain got down Hernandez Govan, man, to set up. Young Donkey gave him a ticket, right? Hernandez and Govan allegedly got in contact with Raven from Makita Cookie, one of the owners of Madeline, whatever she is. Raven? That's the name? You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yeah, goddamn Makita, I don't stay in Memphis. I'm gonna tell you what they told me. The streets told me. Now see, when they pay her, they- So the streets told you when you telling the courts. So you being a hearsay witness, because on the internet, you could be a hearsay witness for the FBI? The next time young dog hit you and order some cooking, man, send us a text. Get in contact with her. They gave her the black phone. And that's what she did. When goddamn young dog contact her for them sweet buttermilk cookies, whatever they sell out there, I did the bikini. Whatever. Whatever they sell out there, public information, your mother's public information. Your mother's public information. Some people know how to mind their business. It's public information. It's not public information. It's the streets. And niggas is bringing the streets to the goddamn internet. Because ain't nobody at the cookie shop been convicted for that nigga being murdered. Ain't nobody at the cookie shop has been arrested for that nigga being murdered. It's not public information. It's snitch information. Your mother's public information. Oh, he contacted her and said, I need me some low brown sugar cookies, right? That's allegedly when she hit goddamn her name, Dan Govin, and then Justin Johnson and Cornelia Smith shot that dog in the goddamn when, when he was walking out the Makita cookie. He was walking out the Makita Yo, this nigga is an animated snitch. Yo, he's the, yo, this nigga is the snitch Buster Rhymes. He's the animated YouTube snitch Buster Rhymes and y'all don't even see the door that y'all opening. Y'all don't even see the door that y'all opening. <clears throat> so dig this. The official murder date trial. The official murder date trial. Look at him challenge. Let me know how you would unplug the HDMI cord if they tried to think that guy is animated weirdo, look for a clout of anyone he can. I'm not getting what you're saying, family. Young Dolph murder started March 2024. Just a couple months. We literally 60 days away. Big Chuck and Yo Gotti was expected to be pointed out by the goddamn co-defendant that took out Young Dolph. They was going to be pointed out as the finances that put the murder plot together. Now, ironically, Big Juke is gunned down exactly 60 days before the goddamn trial start. Is this a sacrifice for Yo Gotti? Goddamn fame and you know he done mess with Angela Simp Simmons or Simpson or whatever her goddamn funny face looking ass is. I know her daddy Russell Simmons. I know who you is. Whatever she is, is this a sacrifice for Yo Gotti? Or is this karma for killing Young Dolph? Or is this retaliation from the paper route goons? Y'all let me know in the comments what's going on. Y'all let me know in the comment section. 
This is a nigga, a pimp, that was prostituting black women. He started off his career prostituting black women, laying on the couch with his fat ass, with them naked standing over him, screaming, Grapes! Grapes! Now he's an, an, an animated YouTube FBI informer. Y'all don't see what y'all doing to yourselves? Oh, cause this just seemed a little sketchy to me. This seemed a little fishy to me. How the hell, bitch, you get going down 60 days before the goddamn murder trial? Is your body trying to duck that federal indictment? Is your body trying to duck that, duck, 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 duck that orange jumpsuit? That federal jumpsuit that they about to put them on for that murder? Y'all let me know. Somebody comment me know. Let me know right now in the comment because I'm out here cold in the goddamn polar bear coat nail. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I just got the break and I'm trying to enjoy my goddamn Sunday football. So you trying to, you stopped your football, your Sunday football, because you trying to find out for who? When did y'all niggas start trying to figure out street business? From gangsters. Yo Gotti's a gangster. Young Dolph was a gangster. Big Jip was a gangster. They don't want you niggas solving the case. They want the bodies to drop. Why y'all getting in between street nigga shit? Stick with the civilians. And I get to come with Jip Day. I waited on the come for man. I had to let y'all know. But y'all come if you from Memphis and you know what's going on. Comment below. I'm reading all the comments. I need you to like this video. I need you to share this video, baby. We the business. That's the fat nigga that used to have the strippers eating grapes. Now he talking like a fat pastor in your videos. Mind your business. Leave the streets to the streets. When an innocent civilian is murdered or a rapper that's playing like he gangster is civilian, I understand that. Because we got to set the rules here. When you have drill rappers that told all their business, all of their business, I understand that. Because they told their business, so you have a right to be a journalist and talk on shit that them niggas told. But yo Gotti ain't testified to shit. Young Dolph ain't testified to shit. And Big Junk ain't testified to shit. All them niggas kept this shit in the street and y'all putting it in the courts. Who sent you? The CIA, the FBI, or the DEA? Inquiring minds want to know. Yo, Haas, why is that man dressed like an old puffy video? <laughs> Nigga, you getting a wrench just for that. Nigga, getting a wrench for the rest of the night just for that. Grapes! Like, stop playing with me, man. Let the streets be the streets. Y'all crossing lines that y'all ain't supposed to cross, man. You crossing lines. Mind your business. Mind your business. For real, man. Shit sad. Y'all don't understand what y'all doing. So I'm going to help y'all understand what y'all doing, right? What y'all doing is y'all creating the atmosphere where in the near future, it's going to be us against everybody. Us poor people. Us people of the sun. Karee Williams, thank you for sponsoring this war. 
Where my people in the super chat at? I don't see my super chat popping like that. Y'all got to talk to me tonight. Where my super chat at? And I'm looking out for those on Patreon.com, Hassan Campbell. Those are y'all, because y'all know they're trying, to, they, yo, they're trying to silence me. I am about to turn up on my Patreon and get Patreon videos that you are not going to see on YouTube. I'm not going to tell y'all when, but just be expecting it to come, because I got some shit coming. Patreon.com, Hassan Campbell. Anybody joining my Patreon right now? When I get that email, I will be looking at that email and I will be reading it. I'm looking out for it. Patreon.com, Hassan Campbell. That's where we're going to be at. When they decide to take this punk-ass platform that's disloyal, because this shit is disloyal, they'll start fading you out. And then you see them pulling your numbers down and pulling you down, watching my life go. Like, now, nah, I'm not going to let y'all do me like Sonetta. I'm not going to let y'all do me like Gully TV. Where y'all kissing asses of the new YouTubers. I'm not going to let y'all do me like Doggy Diamonds and Gully TV. I'm sorry. Them washed up niggas. Looking bad. And no matter what they do, they numbers just look terrible. No, absolutely not. Of course they cheat in the algorithm, and we know that. That's why I'm telling y'all, and the crazy part about it is, now, let's get into the meat and potatoes. We got 3,000 likes with 4,100 people in the building. I want everybody that's watching me right now to hit the like button to see if we surpass that 4,100. Because if we surpass that 4,100, that means they got to let more people in the building. And every time our numbers go up to 5,000, they pull us down. Y'all done wrote in the comment section, 5,000. But I guarantee you, when I sign out of this live, they're going to show that we didn't even have 5,000 people in the building. How much? I'm willing to bet anybody, everybody that's watching me, I bet you when I log out of this live, I bet you, minimum, and I'm, and I'm betting, I'm betting the 4,100 people, that's why I'm asking y'all to hit the like button. I'm betting everybody, if I, got, if, if I lose this, the 4,100 people in the building, I got to cash up everybody $100. If I'm lying, hit the like button. If this live don't have at least 20,000 views when I log out, and I'm going to screenshot it, and I'm going to put this shit up not even five minutes out. When I screenshot it, it's going to show what's in the super chat and everything else. If we don't have at least 20,000 views, I got to hit everybody the 4,100 people that's watching, I got to hit y'all with at least $100 in the cash app. Let's go. Let's go. Start hitting the like button right now. Because if we don't get to the 4,100, this, 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 this bet don't work. Y'all got to hit the like button. Even if y'all got to log out the live back in, that means I give everybody $100 on this live. Because I know they playing with my numbers. Let's go. Because I'm also teaching other YouTubes what they're doing. Hit the like button. You want to tell me we still stuck at 3,200? All right, we went to 3,300. Let's go. Let's go. Then watch the view. Like, watch when we get. Let's go. We still at 3,300. Let's go. I'm waiting. I got all night. I got all night. Come on, hit that like button. I know y'all hitting the like button. They don't want y'all to see. So now y'all see how we went from 4,100 to 4,200? Because they're going to slowly push it up. Because the FBI and the CIA that's watching, they want to see what y'all going to do. But I got time, cuz. I got time. Hit the like. Matter of fact, I got to go pee. So while I go to the bathroom and go take a piss, I'm going to come back and see if we still stuck at 3,385. <laughs> whoever's playing with the numbers at YouTube, we see you. So now we went from 42 back to 41. No, we watching. Hit the like button. And I want everybody that's watching to hit the like button. After you hit the like button, I want you to write in the comment section, I hit the like button. We see you, YouTube. Talk to him. Talk to this algorithm of Satan. Talk to these evildoers. 
Shout out to the 3,400 people in the building, huh? I mean, the 3,400 people that hit the like button, huh? Because I want you to understand something, too. In my phone, the last live I did, yo, I had more likes than the people that was in the building that YouTube gave me. We're not dealing with this again before I get a lawyer. Not before I get a lawyer. I'm going to get a lawyer. I'm not going to have niggas playing with my money like that. Y'all not going to be paying for the war over there in Afghanistan or anybody else off of YouTube playing with my numbers. Go find somebody else's numbers to play with. Not my numbers. Y'all not going to be sitting up there paying for these goddamn border jumpers off of my numbers and, and shadowing my numbers out like, nah. Y'all not going to make me look like Doggy Diamonds and Gully TV. I refuse. No. Y'all not going to fake me out when I know I'm still hot. Is this the illest nigga? Yeah, I'm still the illest nigga in the brass. Yeah. Drinking? Alcoholic? Yeah, yeah, I'm still better than you and your mama. Yeah. I'm that drunk uncle that everybody come. Yeah. They're still making sure he making his a lot. Never catch me slipping again. Oh, no. Next time is on me. Next time is on me. I'll write the check, my nigga. Y'all still ain't hit the like button. Well, let me show y'all something. One, two, three. Hello. YouTube 4090, which I trying to put the 1090 up there for 1090J. Hello. Is anybody home? Yeah, everybody talking about they hit the like button, but the likes ain't going up. Even though we got 3,400 people, uh, 3,400 likes. I like this though. We got 4,583 people in the building with 3,400 likes. I like that. Keep on hitting the like button. We're getting close. I know we got more people in the building. Oh, so we went up to 4,600? Huh? That's your word, YouTube? BR Spells. Let's get this super chat going. Uh oh. Uh-oh. We gonna get the super chat going? If YouTube ain't gonna pay me, are we gonna get the super chat going? What's up? Let's piss these haters off. Where the super chat at? Now I'm reading the super chats. What up? What up? Cause I yo, I ain't gonna even lie. I be seeing academics go live with fifteen thousand people in the building with no super chat. But people still be showing highest love on the super chat. What's good though? Uh-oh. MRCBH365 hit him in the head with the let's go uh oh now let's really piss these niggas off that don't like Hassan Campbell that don't want to show me no, no love acting like I'm too dangerous I don't get no invites niggas ain't cool with me they don't want to be around me I want the people to show the people now through the super chat that I'm a like 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 that I am the champ let the super chat talk let's go And out of the 4,200 people in the building, because they won't let us get to 5,000. I don't care if you only got $5. Put it in the super chat. Let's speak to them. Let's talk. Put a message. I'm going to read your message right now in the super chat. This whole live right now at this point is about the super chat. Read that super chat. Or talk in that super chat, rather. Being that YouTube ain't going to let you hit the like button. Get to the message. We ain't got to get to the We got to the message. Now we having fun. That's right. Deborah Banks. The champ is here. The champ is here. Huh? 
Shout out to Deborah Banks. Who else talking? Where you from? Let me know where you from. Let me know how you feel. That's right. The the mom film. Million subs. B B B B four twenty twenty five highs. We the best. Much love from the dirty four oh four. Shout out to the four oh four. Huh? Is that what? Chris, can you address the true Freeman? He's talking about you for ten hours yesterday. All right. YG and K B baby. Keep pushing highs. Tell the truth. Rasta Dan, shout out to you. Now, the person that's talking about True Freeman, right? True Freeman was on YouTube before I got on True Freeman. Uh, before I got on YouTube. And True Freeman is, um, he used to be on my dick. He used to be my girl. <laughs> but Tommy Sotomaya went over there to Rumble. So now he has to find somebody else to attack that's genuine, that build their craft on their own. Tommy Sotomayor, hate him or love him, the nigga was a bad motherfucker. He built his audience on his own. Millions of people following him. Hassan Campbell, I didn't go through that door. I built my audience on my own. Fuck True Freeman. Tracy Hickman, shout out to you, family. It's amazing how we got 3,500, 3,552 people in the building. They got 3,598 in the building, huh? And they pulling people out. Now they mad. So now we got more likes than people that we have in the building. Talk in the comment section so we can make history on this bitch. We got 3,600 people in the building. I mean, uh, with likes. We got 3,600 likes with 3,400 people in the building. You y'all see what they doing to me? I'm loving it. I like it. I like it. I like it like that. I like it like that. I like it. So now they made us go back up to 3,800 from 3,600 likes. That's why I keep telling y'all to hit the like button. But nah, let the super chat talk. Because they want y'all to feel like I'm falling off. Anybody that got love for me. As we creep back up to the 4,000 people in the building. Now the numbers is creeping back up. Because the FBI is like, yo, y'all making mistakes. Y'all stupid. Because you got dumb YouTubers playing with my, my channel. Talk to me in the comment section. Let's talk. I'm only reading super chats right now. Let's go. Where the next super chat at? I'm reading super chat. And I'm reading the people that join my Patreon on Patreon.com. Hassan Campbell. Because when they take this platform, you already know where we're going to be at. What up? You going to tell me the super chat don't work no more? My people love me. My people love me. What y'all doing over there on YouTube? Gypsy, what up? Let's go. What up? It's only but so much y'all can play the game that y'all playing. Nigga, I'm pandering. Yeah, I want your mother to come in. I'm, 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 nigga, I'm pussy pandering. I want your mother to come in. My wife be acting up sometimes. She be having an attitude. I should have cheated. She be like, yeah, this nigga be all over the place. He done had all these kids, all these different women. So when my wife act up, I want your mother. Yeah, I'm pussy pandering. I want your mama to come in here. If my wife ain't giving me none today, I want your mother to give me some. <laughs> if my wife ain't giving me none tonight, I want your mother to give me some. Huh? I should have cheated. I should have went out to the club. Keisha Cole. I should have cheated. I should have went out to the club. What? Take the what and leave the...
Philadelphia here. You all good in my city. Shout out to Philly, man. Yeah, we see YouTube doing me dirty. Now we back at a little crummy ass 4300 because they don't really they, they don't really want to. Yo, I'm telling you, watch. Y'all don't even understand. Shout out to the 3,600 people that hit the like button while we live. That shit is unheard of. People don't do that. That's why I'm telling everybody else, hit that like button. Start signing in to YouTube. Everybody that support me, I need y'all to make sure y'all still subscribe. I need for y'all to sign in on y'all devices. Sign in on other devices because the game is rigged. And believe me, in these last days of America, the celebrity gossip is going to get insane. In the last days of America, they're going to keep y'all so dumb with these fraternal order niggas, these Masonic niggas. And see, for me, I'm going to stop naming these niggas on my regular YouTube. Y'all going to have to go to my Patreon for me to talk about these niggas because I'm making enemies. And I don't have no friends. I'm making enemies and I ain't got no friends. These niggas only smile for me because they only look there. Like a lot of these dudes, they only looking for another opportunity to say, yo, how's, yo, you think I could borrow this? You think I could borrow that? You think I could pay this? You could pay that? These niggas ain't my friend. They can't wait for me to die. You know why? Not because I did them wrong, because I did them right. But in the process of me doing them right, like, y'all watch me on YouTube when niggas sit up there talking about, Oh, your jury is fake. Oh, his jury is fake. That's what they that's what they would sit up there saying. But they never sit up there and say, yo, this nigga moved everybody out of the hood. They won't talk about the fact that I moved everybody out of the hood. And I gave up, yo, my closest niggas, I gave niggas the option. Bought niggas car, gave niggas cars, bought niggas cars, did all types of shit. Niggas don't want to leave the hood. And I'm going to say this shit from the bottom of my heart. I done gave niggas opportunity to build platforms off of me. And they won't do it because they want to be ghetto fabulous. These niggas is in love with the fucking street corners. And they bum ass bitches is in love with them street corners. These niggas is in love with the street corners. And they bum ass bitches is too. You got women <coughs> that want the finer things in life. And they fall in love with that shit. And then you got bitches that's hood fabulous. And you got bitch ass niggas. If you move them niggas out of the fucking hood. They don't matter to middle class people. They look ignorant. So they don't want to really leave the hood. Because they addicted to the devil. The hood is worse than crack. The hood is worse than dope. The hood is worse than coke. The hood is worse than fentanyl. You could get the hood. Yo, you could get the fentanyl out of the hood, but you still got the hood. You could get the dope out the hood, but you still got the hood. You could get the crack out the hood, but you still got the hood. The hood is poison. And these black celebrities is the new wave. Right. So now we got 3,700 likes, but 3,200 people in the building because they can't stomach that the audience that's coming in this live is too crazy and the shit is getting too real. So now what I want y'all to do again is hit that like button. Talk to yo, talk to this algorithm. Let them know that y'all see what they doing. Spread this shit like cancer before doomsday. They are trying to contain me. And release these sucker ass niggas. They're trying to contain me. And release these type of niggas. They say too much, but from between this post right here.
between this real right here. Bro. Yeah, for real? Big jump. Whoa. The other thing on there about the dad right now is that one pass he doesn't look. Yeah, I see it over there. It's a what is it, birthday? What is it, repass or a birthday party? Oh, you're both ain't repaid. Hey, 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 hey. Shoot out. That's what they said. Hell no. That's a doubt. That's a doubt. That's a doubt. That's a doubt. I think what I was saying, we know what happened to Big Jug, man. So, you know, right now, hey, everybody trending and it's going up. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I don't think Big Jug. Everybody's trending, but it's going up. Let me ask y'all a question. Those of y'all that's watching me right now, right? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you here? How are you more entertained about a black dude getting murdered in his beef? But you got 200 million people in China alone ready to march on America. America just bombed Yemen. Where thousands of people died. America just bombed over in Hamas with Israel. We got Russia in Ukraine in Ukraine going to war. And you niggas are sitting up there talking about a fat, dirty, dusty ass nigga named Juk. And yo, Gotti, when your children is about to be on a break of World War Three, are you not entertained? Is this not why you here? Let's play the game they playing. Tracy Hickman, I'm from Patterson, New Jersey, but I fuck with you. Your mother passed right after my mother, so I understand when you get emotional on your lives, there is no judgment. I love you, Haas. Love you too, family. Appreciate you. Pain is universal. We all go through pain. Was killed by nobody other than who he knew he was going to get killed by. We got to keep it 100 around here. If Big Jim posted something like that, he knew he was going to die. And guess how he died? From a couple dudes that slid it up on him like a snake and caught him at the worst place you ever want to get caught with your emotions everywhere. You attended a funeral. And you can't think straight. Um, you know, when you're in these streets and you're doing street activities, you always want to be level-handed and clear-headed. Uh, you get caught with your head down at funerals. And he can't be clear-headed with niggas like you on the internet dropping clues to his next location, dropping clues to his next location, and dropping clues to his downfall. This is what the fuck you doing. Answers your head just ain't there, you feel me? You were mostly everywhere because Bovin, that's the funeral where he attended, was a well known drug dealer, you feel what I'm saying? That was married. He was a well known drug dealer that was married to who? Again, you solving cases. He was a well known drug dealer. Like, like, guy, let me let you speak. Who, yo, got you know, auntie, you feel what I'm saying? Now, he ended up being like an uncle to Yo Gotti and Big Jug, closer to Jug than Gotti, but still they came and paid their respect because he was a big time drug in their, in their life. And you got people who saying, man, the auntie snitched and a woman that was in their family snitched on them, they knew not to be there and all that. I just don't think it's quite that. I think these dudes, you know. I think that when the word snitch comes out of your mouth, it's just stamped right on your fucking forehead. I think that you should mind your business and you could go you should go back to blogging and stop telling on street fucking beef. Because 
you mimic yourself to be after AK for AK, academics. AK, the a AK-47 is academics. You want to be academic so bad. So you, this is your way to success, but the reality of it is we know you got district attorney all over you. Who killed him? Who he was going to tell him? Because I'm hearing the other day, Big Jook was shot at before, which why he posted that post. Because he felt like he got back down and set up. You feel what I'm saying? And he knew he was going to die, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if you notice, bro, these, these dudes, like, it's no get back. It's no time limit on get back karma. The game guy going to always come back and get you. Now, how this is for Yo Gotti, it, 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 it's, it's like with Lil Dolph, man. I mean, with Lil Dirt. I mean, you sad, but at the same time, the connection to you to a murderer is gone. Um, they try to get D Thang to connect Lil Dirt because you know D Thang was in all. So now you bring in other murders into a murder case that don't have nothing to do with this murder case. Like, what the fuck? Stick to the topic. You talking about too many different murders now. Happy Jug Murder, and they picked up Big Jug, question them, you feel what I'm saying? Release Gobert Hernandez, because you know everybody thinking Gobert Hernandez agreed to snitch to get Gotti. But Gobert went close to Gotti. He was going through Gotti through Jug. So how can you bring down Gotti and cooperate when Jug did, and that's the dude that they needed to match the link? So you got a lot of people saying that. Let me be the first to tell y'all. I don't know what the fuck this nigga is talking about. I don't know none of these names. I've never heard of none of these names. But if you want to know who's killing who, who's testifying, who's a witness, who's not a witness, go to King AK 47's page. If you want to be part of the government's witness praying, you go over to that page right there and you can learn all the shit that snitches do. And the feds, he wouldn't even last a fucking day. If this nigga went to jail, they would destroy him. That's what I'm saying. Um, it's just really sad that these dudes died. And we all know it ain't no murder without murdering. Um, Memphis is going to turn up more. You feel what I'm saying? People love you. The nigga said there ain't no murder without murdering. On that note, there ain't no murdering without murdering. I'm going to take a piss. <laughs> Is this the illest thing of Nebraska? We got 308, a uh, 3809 likes in the building, but 3804 people in the building. And just drop down to 3751. Like YouTube, stop it. Like YouTube, stop it. Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Like it is what it is. And at the end of the day, man, let me tell y'all something, right? Y'all know Haas ain't going to be here for a long time. Certain things I'm not going for. If you stand for something, you only die one death. If you don't stand for something, a coward dies a thousand death. I don't know how to shut my mouth. I don't know how to be quiet. I don't know how to entertain you. I don't know how to sit back and play the Denzel. See, the niggas that y'all sit back and y'all praise, Denzel Washington... Like, he's one of our best actors ever, but he ain't using his voice for the people, so fuck him. Rock Kim is one of the best rappers ever. He will not die using his voice for the people, so fuck him. Big Daddy Kane is one of the second best ever. He's not using his voice.
for the people, so fuck them. KRS One stood by Africa Bambada and then made a song called 13 and Good, where he bragged about having sex with a 13 year old girl. Fuck them. Like, I ain't come here to play no games. Nas is one of the illest. He's not using his voice for the people, so fuck him. In that bitch he gave birth to. Fuck him. Jada kissed the locks. D block, D block, D block. The niggas that sat up there and got on the stage and performed. What 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 what, what dipset dip set dip set? They knew when they got on the stage. They knew that Freaky Zeke testified. They got niggas up north. D block taught us. The locks L O X taught us. Not the snitch. Not the rat. To deal with the code of the street. But then when COVID went and niggas wasn't making no money, they got on stage with a rat and performed with rats. And they looked like they wanted to break out into a real fight. But they soothed it down because it was on TV. Because you could see that they wasn't real friends. If you look with them niggas kicking each other, it almost got really, really real. But money, I make niggas throw their priorities in the garbage. D-block, 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 D-block. Fuck your D-block. All these niggas is full of shit. You are living in the last days of America. Well, we on a break of, yo, Armageddon come to, what, what'd he say? Armageddon come, you know that we soon done. Gun by your side, is in case you gotta run. Shit is about to get real. And they keep giving you rappers. On one side of the fence, matter of fact, you know what? Being that they like to play with my videos, all of my video. This is a video that I played, I, I, I posted on Snapbox TV. Matter of fact, let me finish with this nigga. Then we're going to get to that. Oh, he had family and friends. He had people that arrived for him, people that had died for him. Nephews, cousins. We see how he tight he was with True Mafia. I mean, if you think this murder just going to go without no other murder, you absolutely crazy. And that's the destruction of... My bad, people. That's just my paranoia. I mean, anyway, man, this is all we do right here. Feel me? As you can see, um, right. when, when when he got shot, about five minutes later, you know, I went live on Instagram really before anybody knew. And, you know, I went live twice. But the nigga said he went live on Instagram before anybody knew. Watch that crooked smile last nigga that just told you that he went live. And he started bearing witness and testifying before anybody knew. Come on, man. Look at his face. It's always crooked. Talking about what live. I told people what it was, man. People want to break up and all this will happen. This will happen, man. Listen, man. People in Memphis ain't about to be bringing up all oh, this for dog. You feel what I'm saying? That that's people there. So. Y'all can come at me all y'all want, man. AK, it ain't got nothing to do with Dolph and all that, man. I said, I went live five minutes after the man died. Obviously, if people from Memphis, that reel was way later. So, obviously, if you don't have to be a, 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 a genius to know what happened. But if if people from Memphis is calling me and telling me, bro, this was for Dolph. Stop choking. Shout out to the 4,200 4, people in the building, right? 4,200 people in the building. At the 223 mark. 4,200 people in the building. Y'all slipping, YouTube. I know how to play y'all game. Holding people out. So now we done went back up. Let's stop playing. Who am I to not come on here and at least say that? We're not going to say who killed. As soon as I said 42, they took us back to 4160. Fuck you. We're not going to say because it could be... Friends of family, it could be friends of paper route, it could be anything, but this straight paper route business, like, and as long as you dot your eyes across your T's and nobody. This is straight paper route business. I didn't even know who the fuck paper route was until this nigga started talking. The jail, another unsolved murder. He, he, he got what he, he reaped what he sold. You feel what I'm saying? He reaped what he sold. The dude, the man was dissing off any chance he could get, bro. Not his dead body all over Twitter, all over Twitter. 
We ain't got Dolph dead body. We just had an arm hanging out. Dead body all over Twitter. Hey man, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button right now. And subscribe if you ain't subscribe. It's just like karma come back to bite you in 10 ways in the power of the word. He posted that post two days ago. He died yesterday. That post was up for 24 hours. He knew he was dying. He knew death was around the corner. And like I said, all motherfuckers that get to a certain point in life. See, this is what a nigga like him will never understand. When you get to a certain point in life, we all understand that death is around the corner. T Tupac understood that when he named himself Machiavelli. When he made songs like, I see death around the corner. That song, listen man, when y'all get off this live, play that song, Tupac, Death Around the Corner. Then come back in the comment section of this video and say, I played that song, that shit is deep. Do you hear me? When you get to this point of the live, after the live, play Tupac, Death Around the Corner, and listen to that song. He would never understand that. Biggie, Life After Death. He named this album Life After Death. The nigga was only in his early 20s because we always felt death living in the black community. We never felt like there was going to be life. And you know who feels like that? You know, you want to know who feels just like us? Those Arabs. The only ones that don't feel death around the corner like that is white people. Everybody else feels death around the corner. The only ones that don't feel death around the corner is the colonizer. You got motherfuckers in Brooklyn building tunnels up under the buildings in the cities and they finding wet mattresses and baby car seats and baby seats up under holes up under the cities. What is you doing with mattresses? With baby car seats and tunnels? What are you doing with baby car seats? With baby mattresses up under the city? And look, look how the numbers is going down when I say that. Look how the numbers is going down how I said that. Now y'all went from 4,200 people in the building to 3,400 people in the building when I start talking about them children kidnappers. I refuse. I didn't sign up to live forever on this earth. I refuse to shut up. How we just get the 3,300 people in the building? With 3,900 likes. Y'all think y'all sending me a message? Think of fuck you. With this finger, with that finger, with this finger, with that finger, with this finger, with that finger. Nigga, y'all can take this monetization. Y'all can take this fucking page. Nigga, it's shoving, fall up your ass and make all these niggas. Everybody know I'm the best of the best. Keep it up, Haas. Y'all see this shit? Is this the illest nigga in Nebraska? Yeah. Oh, so y'all gonna let 3,700 people back in the building? Because y'all feel sorry? That's how y'all want to play it? Don't never tell me you got to relax. That shit sound like Troy Ave. Y'all right now, I know for a fact, some dudes just tried to kill Juk a couple days ago, and he felt he was back though. His location was dropped. Had nothing to do with the repass, you know, because... Um, you know, a lot of people was telling me, you know what I mean, Gotti was there, which was true. Gotti was at the funeral. I don't know if Gotti went to the repast. I just know Gotti was at the funeral. I just know if Gotti went to the funeral, it's none of your fucking business. Why are you trying to figure it out? I just know if Gotti went to the funeral, it's none of your fucking business. Shut up. 
Um, do I think God it was a target? I mean, if he was there, yes. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't think God was at the repair. This is just me and I could be wrong. I think Big Jook was that target. You feel what I'm saying? I think you need to mind your business. I think you think it too much in a state that you're not from. I think you talk too much. You never shut up. I said you, you talk too much. I feel like if God was the target, he would have got killed. And once again, the big head man who started everything, who started the whole war, because you either felt the way about him. It How he know who started the war? Now he telling you what he feel about the nigga that started the war. Baby mama, if you felt the way he ain't want to sign you, either way he go, and you go to his hood and shoot a music video, either way he go, you started this. So while you out taking trips with Angela Simmons and spending money and living the life you want to live, man, your brother died, your best man died, all these people was dying behind you, bro. Agent of Chaos has... Agent of Chaos, that's you. Niggas is dying because that's what happens on the battlefield. And no matter what, yo got him. Angela Simmons, nigga smash that pussy. Nigga smash that pussy. Angela Simmons got some pussy that most of the niggas, most of the hood niggas, they want some of that pussy. So no matter what you go through, yo got him. No matter what you go, and I'm going to make a separate video just because this bitch ass nigga said that. You see this bitch ass nigga? I don't give a fuck who die on the battlefield. I'm going to still fuck my wife. It's 4,200 people in the building. Write that in the comment section. I don't give a fuck who die on the battlefield. I'm still going to have sex with my wife. Fuck is he talking about? That's your man's. You feel what I'm saying? So, Gotti, this blood on your hands, bro. Your brother's death on your hands. Black youngster, your brother's death on your hands. These people's deaths are on your hands, man. I'm going to tell y'all another thing. Yo, King AK-47, if you made it this... Black youngster? Nah, we not promoting your bitch with a dirty hair. Now you throwing black youngster name out there. Nigga, you're ratting. Use a rat tat 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 rat tat 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 rat tat 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 And y'all need to spread this. I might pay people for breaking this live down and putting it all over the internet. At the internet. Rat. Rat tat 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 Rat. You being protected right now, you at an isolated location. They gonna find you, bro. If I was you... You at an isolated location. <coughs> you at an isolated location. <coughs> they gonna find you. <coughs> you done? Is you done? Are you not? <coughs> Damn, nigga. Nigga, I be choking. I can't even get the... <laughs> Damn! Hit the like button, y'all. I want everybody in the building to hit the like button. We got 3,900 people that, like, that hit the like button, but we only got 3,800 people in the building. Y'all believe that? Hit the like button now. Because I promise y'all, when this live goes off, they're going to try to make it seem like we got look. Yo, so now we got 3,600 people with 3,900 likes in the building. I'm going to screenshot this shit. YouTube, y'all fucking up and y'all don't even realize what y'all doing with the lawsuits and everything else. I know we at the end of the world. And I know y'all trying to kill my brain. 4,000 likes with 3,400 people in the building. Hit the like button, people. Nigga, I'm hyped. So you're going to tell me we got 4,000 likes with 3,400 people in the building? Uh-oh. Is Super Chat coming through? Dre Street, shout out to you, family.
What? Take the what and leave the what? Take the what? So you telling me we got 40-40 in the building? Hit the like button, people. Because I'm screenshotting this shit. I'm having fun. You going to tell me we got 40, that, four, four, oh my God. A gal, I can't even pronounce your shit. Whatever. I ain't even trying. I'm not trying to read that hard. I'm sorry. Shout out to you, fam. Shout out to you, fam. We got 4,000 likes in the building with 3,300 people in the building. Nah. I'm not accepting that. And y'all not either. Hit the like button. Keep hitting the like button. Keep hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. Keep hitting the share button. With a super chat at, though. Let's talk. Let's keep it going. No, let's talk in the super chat. Y'all got questions y'all want to ask? Y'all got shit that y'all want to say? Talk in the super chat. Eventually, you're going to have to let it go. Oh, shit. We got a Patreon? The Mon Films just became a Patreon for farm for $5. Shout out to you, family. Uh-oh, shout out to the Patreon. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Good. Shout out to the Patreon. Patreon.com, Hassan Campbell. Let's go. You might as well just go back to jail. And Black Youngster, there's only two more to go. That's Black Youngster, Gover and Hernandez. They don't want no more. Straight dropping them in jail. They don't want no more. There's only two more to go. Go ahead, rap. Again, the issue is they got TZ out the way. They got Lewski out the way. And Who they got out the way? Tuski. They got TZ. They got new. They got Newski out the way. Go ahead, keep on telling. You feel me? There's only two left. Black youngster, don't ever come back to Memphis, bro. Well, there's three left, but they know they ain't gonna be. A well, there's three left. Black youngster, don't come back, cause King AK-47 and his district attorney, they said don't come, don't, don't come back to yonder. I'm going back to yonder. Gotti, no, I see Gotti, he moved, he showed his face, hey, what up, I'm here, and gone, you feel what I'm saying, Big Jook was the one that just still, you know, pride, pride to get in your way, man, pride, Big Jook should have been left, bro, you running around here acting like these dudes, yeah, I'm untouchable, and you see, you got touched. It wasn't about that, home is home, I don't give a fuck what nobody say, Bronx River is always gonna be my home, Webster is always gonna be my home, Coney Island is always gonna be my home. Jamaica Ave is always going to be my home. There's certain things in certain places and certain people. Go ahead, mama. That connect me to that. It's always going to be my home. He would never understand that, you dirty fucking bunking. Uh-oh, shout out to the 4,200 people. Oh, the 40 because they, the, they let them back in. They made a mistake. What type of grease Africa used to you? Why? You want to know what kind of grease? You want to know what kind of grease so you can use it on somebody else? Vaseline. It was Vaseline. Good look, man. There's no time they don't get at me. Somebody sliding for dog, bro. Now, we ain't here to say no names of who it is, but if you know, if you admit it, it's a name right now that's hot and blazing. The nigga said he ain't here to say no names, but said everybody named that I didn't know and you didn't know, but he ain't here to say no names. Look at his face. Here we coming around the mountains. Here we come. Here we coming around the mountains. Here we coming around the mountains. We be coming around the mountains. Here we come. The fuck out of here. What the fuck is you doing? Hit the like button, people. Hit the like button. Let's let the lights go to 10,000. I swear to God, if y'all let the lights go to 10,000, if y'all hit the lights and that go to, the lights go to 10,000, I'm going to go live three times a day for the next 10 days. If y'all let the lights get to 10,000, I swear to God, and it got to be during this live while I'm watching, hit the light because I know it's more people in the building. Keep hitting it to a jump. Watch it. Because they holding it back. They can't hold us back. 
<laughs> they can't hold us back. We too real. Hit the like button. Come on. We didn't hit. We didn't get one like. We got forty one nineteen. You gonna tell me that we ain't get one like? But the the views keep going up, and we ain't get no like. Come on. Forty one nineteen. Okay, we went to forty one thirty three. Okay, we see it. We see it. They know we talking. They working behind the scene. We see you, FBI. Come on, y'all know y'all gotta rock this nigga snot box. And y'all know I don't care. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not. Fuck I look like. Can't stop, won't stop like I'm Diddy. Look at this nigga face. Um ba ba mbo bo. Um ba ba mbo. Um ba ba mbo bo. Um ba ba. What? Take the what? Hit the like button. Stop. Yo, stop playing. Right now. And his name always hot and blazing. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like, bro, the, the, the police don't care. Nigga, this nigga name blazing. They probably don't even care that his name blazing. They probably ain't even going to holler at the nigga behind this. You feel what I'm saying? It, it, it's Dottie Dolph Govan. You feel what I'm saying? And Govan, he protected. He's snitching anyway, so he doing pre justice, paper route of justice. He's doing thought family of justice. He's snitching, and Gotti, he, he down there, you feel what I'm saying? He moved very smart. It's Black Youngster and Go Bear Hernandez, man. They all on the list, man. All of them, man. Just do what, just do it. It's just sad that this is how I gotta go. But they all on the list. They're all on the list. They just, just all of them. Just all of them. Just all of them? Did you see the list? Did he see the list? I proved my point. We got 4,200 people that hit the like button. With only 3,200 people in the building. I am the illest nigga in the break. Y'all niggas is lying over there in YouTube and we realize it. Dog should have never died. And I told y'all he should have never got killed, bro. And then in the way he got killed, bro, he should have never got killed. Y'all act like, man, they didn't get back, bro. Young Dolph's murder took time. Young Dolph, they said they was planning that murder way back. They just executed on the day it was executed. You never know who put up whatever money or who orchestrated who. And you feel me? Like I told y'all, man, the worst place to be is at a funeral. Or, or a repass, man. Everybody know you're going to be there. And then it's, it's not like you could do a private location. Bro, Bovan, everybody knew this. Y'all heard it the real. These regular people, Bovan, few. The nigga told niggas the worst place to be at is a funeral. There was a time where we respected the dead being buried. As a matter of fact, I take you back to a movie that I mentioned in this live. With Achilles and Hector and Troy, the movie Troy, they let each other bury each other's dead and then went back to war because niggas had confidence in their fucking skills and their abilities. Who are you? It's that hocus for Who are you? Who are you? I'm from Cap. I'm from Castle Hill, I'm from Sound You. I'm from Castle Hill, I'm from Sound. Who are you? Who is you? I know my niggas is killers. Who is you? The niggas that I beef with and my big homies beef with. There's bodies that's been buried up under this earth. Off of real niggas. King AK-47, who the fuck is you? Name one real nigga behind this nigga AK-47. Name one nigga behind this king, this, 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 um, the other nigga, Grapes. All I know is I seen that nigga on, it, on YouTube get smacked all over the place. All over the place. He was like a hood celebrity in Memphis. 
that's where you th what, thought you was going to attend? And you thought niggas really wasn't going to wait, pull up, wait to see you, and catch your ass slipping. And they shot your security. And he damn near dead if he ain't not. Then they said they shot up the hospital. Oh, man, it, 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 it's just bad. Look, man, this is what happens with bloodshed. And you take away people that was never supposed to be. I didn't even hear they shot up the hospital. Live witness. I never heard that. Live witness. This is the totally opposite of what Duck going on. Um, and I'm not here to advocate violence or nothing. FBG Duck, his friends snitching. His Why is he talking about Duck? FBG Duck don't have nothing to do with Yo Gotti. What the fuck is you doing? Damn, this nigga's connecting the dots. They don't even have nothing to do with each other. They're taking the stand, they getting the judge. Dog friends ain't doing that, man. They want hood, street justice. His family and friends ain't going by that. So y'all can believe me if y'all want to. I don't know, you know, exactly what happened. But from what I'm being told, you know, I ain't here to discredit nobody or put no bloggers out there. I and everybody is here to tell this nigga something. Everybody? Everybody. Every blogger that spoke on this, I was drunk last night, you feel what I'm saying? I, I was supposed to be alive and was drunk and passed out and went live at one in the morning. From what I'm hearing, paper route business, bro. Don't matter how he died. Don't matter how he died, it's paper route business. Paper route was responsible, and now that you sober, you still screaming paper route. And you telling the world that Paper Route did it now that you sober. If you would have got hit by a car, Paper Route business. If you would have jumped off a bridge, Paper Route business. <laughs> you feel me? We got to say it like that because you know the fear is watching. You feel what I'm saying? Now, we ain't saying Paper Route killed nobody or nothing. Just Paper Route business. Dog. And y'all ain't hearing it from just me. The people down there in Memphis, man, going live, fucking up, saying shit on live, and for Dolph. Niggas know what's going on, man. So y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video, man. Big Jug, dead. And it seems like there's more bodies that's about to come behind this, man. Yo, Gotti, stay out of Memphis. Black youngster, stay out of Memphis. Go over there, Hernandez, stay snitching. That's all I can say. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. King AK47, Voice of the Streets. I'm out. Y'all know I stopped using the name King of the Streets when he came on the YouTube after me and started using the name came up the King of the Streets. I stopped using the name King of the Streets when this nigga started using that name because I said, no way. I don't even want to be affiliated or associated with King. And this is what the King of the Streets is doing. Solving the homicide cases? Hit him in the head with the headshot. Yeah, hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. Because unless y'all gonna sit up there and hit that like button and show me that we got at least 10,000 people in the building, I'm signing out. I can sit up there and dig up my nose before I play with this bullshit. The internet is over with. It's over. Now you got a bunch of dumb niggas reporting on dumb niggas dying. Don't nobody give a fuck about Young Dolph. Don't nobody give a fuck about Yo Gotti. And don't nobody give a fuck about Big Juk. We got our own family members dying out this shit. People can't even pay their rent. People can't even pay their rent. We don't give a fuck about what's going on with them. People can't even afford to pay for uniforms for their kids to go to school. As a matter of fact, people's, people's kids are being kicked out of school so that people that jump over the border illegally, kids could go to school. We are watching black people, Hispanic people go homeless in America while they paying two years worth of rent for border jumpers. And you talking about us... You 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 selling us rich people beef? The rich killing the rich? We don't care. 
Like I absolutely don't give a fuck about Young Dolph. Yo Gotti. Or Big Jook. Nigga, my mama died. And ain't nobody tapped me on my back and wipe away my fucking tears. Hit that like button, hit that ship subscribe button subs subscribe button. Hit that share button. And pay attention to this internet before you become a part of this matrix. Yo, they're not even giving me like, yo, where's the where's the log out button? Now that's the crazy part about it. They're gonna change shit up so bad the way that they got they playing with the numbers. But they don't even give me now. I don't even have the option to log out. 